your kitty. You can have cheeseburger.
Hello everyone, how we doing, how we doing, how we doing today? Hope you're doing so well. Maurice, I'm so sorry you're in the way, but you're at least better lit here. How's this? This is better. You you can see Maurice and not me. I think that's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, Mike. This feels better. This feels alright for today. How we doing, how we doing, how we doing today? I wasn't liking, he was just so in shadow over here. How we doing, folks? Hope you're well, hope you're well. What are we up to today? How's everyone's day been? Abby, congratulations on your 50 times first. 55 times a first, there we go. Needles, hello, hello, how we doing, how we doing? Kaylee, hi, hi, you are early. It's, a, it's exciting seeing yet more weird references on my, uh, in my chat. Uh, but how are we doing? Tobes, welcome in, welcome in. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? What is going on, Tobes? Hope you're doing all right. Pi, thank you for the lurky lurk. Appreciate you. Alex, hello, hello. How is everyone doing, folks? How is everyone? I can barely see chat with the mic here, but that's fine. You know like that thing when you're looking through something and your eyes are just kind of like filling in that blank? Uh, cause like one can- one eye can see something and the other can see something and your mind's just stitching them together but you can still kind of see the thing in front of it? That's what I'm getting with my mic right now with chat and it's quite weird. Uh, why do people like throwing you out of windows? It's just- you just have that kind of face I guess. Uh, <laughs> how we doing? How we doing? Uh, I will point out that is in fact not a command. Um, do you want me to make it a command? Because I did actually type that out. <laughs> Can we get some love in the, in the chat for Tobes, please? Tobes is a super sick, awesome human being. It's, uh, it's great to have you in after all this time. Um, and I'm just, yeah, you're here all the time. You just vibe and I appreciate you. Much love, my friend. But uh, we are playing some modded Minecraft today. Now just a reminder folks, so the 22nd, so that is Thursday next week, is my two year stream -aversary. Uh In the said stream -aversary, I will be doing, um, I will be reacting to my attempted Let's Play. Did I say hi to Custard? I, I don't know if I did, but hi. I, I wrote a command for you, so you know. Uh, <laughs> how long have I been here? Nine months, five days? Yo. Um, but yes, yeah, so, uh, we'll be reacting to my Let's Play I tried to do, uh, about ten years ago. Uh, which will be a really fun time, I'm keen for that, but I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway of a copy of Minecraft. So make sure to be there, it's gonna be cool. Um, I'm excited, I'm excited. For, holy heck, 40 stream streak, yo Tobes, that's insane! Heck yeah, that's wicked. Ayo indeed! Maurice is practically glowing with pride. Three stream streak? Yeah, that's a bit lame. <laughs> but very appreciated, Nikki. Kaylee, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Yes, we are in the modded world today, and last time we were here, I spent two hours fiddling with the proportions of these two boxes. A DM for a sec. Ooh. Noted, there might be more things to the giveaway. Thank you. Exceptional. What's NM? Not mad. Ah. I know a few of them off by heart, but I don't know all of them. What console would the Minecraft game be? Well, I'm fairly certain... Well, it'd be a game code, right? So... 
I'd be buying a game code as opposed to a thing. So it'd be for generic, um, so it'd be PC. Um, it'd be PC, presumably. I haven't looked into actually doing it. It's just what I'm planning to do. Um, but I'm going to just buy a, like, pay for a game code. Because I know, like, they're kind of interchangeable now. You can, I, you can, um, for, like, if you own Java, then you can have a Bedrock account. If you own Bedrock, or at least the computer version, you can own Java, so. Just a silly goose. It's a very good tag. But we spent a long time futzing with the proportions of this, and I still, and I hated it. But I come back and log on, and I'm like, this is fine. <laughs> This is fine, to be honest. Now, I know we have lots of detailing to do to this, including giving it a roof, uh, as well as building these buildings. But hear me out, right? Hear me out. But realistically, if you win the giveaway, then um, then we can talk. If you if you want it for a different console, then I can sure I can get a a game code thing for for it too. Um, but hear me out. What if we start a new factory because I want to build another contraption like this? So hear me out. Because I was, I was thinking, I was running around while I was waiting for stream. I was running around, looking at stuff. And I was like, I want to create a contraption like that to automate our food crafting. Because our food crafting at the moment is insanely annoying. But if we just like do something that takes a while to do it, but is cool and aesthetic, and we can just like put the stuff in the chests and walk away, I think that'd be pretty cool. And there's a cute few interesting things we need to figure out with that, right? Um, because there's a few pieces to the puzzle for making our food. One is the anvil, right? We need to drop, um, uh, we need to drop an anvil on stuff in order to convert it. Uh, so, uh, do we have, yes, so we do, so noodle soup. So this is our finished product. So we need salt and we need pasta. Salt we'll just put in as a raw ingredient. Pasta, we need dough. Because there's something down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which dough we need. Uh, we need to flatten dough with an anvil to get the pasta, but also to get the dough, we need to put flour and salt in water to get the dough, and to get the flour, we need to we need to crush either potatoes or wheat with an anvil as well. So there's a few interesting steps that we can figure out cool and interesting ways to do. You're gonna go to sleep? Oh, good, Tobes. I appreciate you, my friend. See my mom's messages from my dad? Ooh. Let me interrupt you. You're totally fine, my friend. No, don't worry. So, that's a few things we need to think about. One is doing the water crafting. We need to think about uh, getting items under an anvil and then moving the anvil to drop it and then having to replace said anvil when it breaks. And then we have needing to right click this thing with um so <laughs> where does the custard come in i mean interesting interesting thing you ask uh so we need to right click this thing with the water uh so we'll want to create uh recreate a system to be automatically crafting this even though we've got like tons of this right now it's not like a huge issue flour and wheat flour would produce two Totally different textured pastas, unless the noodle is long gnocchi, and then that's fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But luckily, Steve doesn't care. Um, so, we need to be able to right-click this thing 
with the thing of Um, to put the water up here to convert it into the hot water. Then we need to drop a bone in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we need to drop, um, I think four pasta and four salt. Is that right? Or just one? Yeah, four pasta and four salt in. And then we need to re-smelt this thing. We don't have anything at the moment that can use our uh, molten rod thing. Blueberry, welcome in, welcome in. What's going on? Uh, we haven't found anything that will... Hello. Yes, backpack, thank you. They'll be able to use this. So this can smelt something in world, but it requires the user to have mana, which we haven't quite figured out something that can do that yet. So, what we'll need to do is break it, smelt it, and replace it. So that's a whole lot of stuff we need to figure out how to do. So first things first, uh, we need somewhere to put this factory. I'm thinking like right here, maybe a tiny little laneway, maybe like three blocks wide. Um, because then this side doesn't have to have a, like really any detail. Have a tiny little laneway here, uh, and then we can put our factory here. You are sleepy? How's everyone doing? I'm doing good, my friend. Good. Uh, I am once again procrastinating building things. Uh, not on top. Perfect. Everything's going according to plan. Ba -na 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 -na. You ever like sit down to do something and it feels like you've just got something missing? I'm kind of in that vibe right now. Like I know I've got Maurice back on this shoulder again, which I haven't had for a while, but like... Well, I'm procrastinating doing aesthetic builds. <laughs> That'll do for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sparky, hello. It's been a little while. How you doing, my friend? Let's just grab some netherrack because it's good for scaff or marking things out. I'm thinking just like a little like dinky three-way alley three-way alleyway would be good. So let's just say this is our um uh let's maybe bring it back a block. And then we'll say this is kind of our uh, frame line for where we want the walls to kind of start for the thing of Hoosie. So now we can start thinking about the actual mechanics. We've got like a place that we can build this thing. So we need yet another auto crafting machine. Now I'm not interest. I'm not planning on. Like I'm happy for us to just drop off the ingredients, right? Luna, hello, hello. Yeah. So on Fridays and Saturdays, we're in our uh, in our modded worlds. So this is an expert mode mod pack. Uh, so that means that our modded progression is really, really slowed down, and we have to think creatively and use lots of lots of different mods together in order to uh, overcome solutions. Um, we are. Designing our base around being this kind of like, uh, corporate contemporary, uh, industrial facility with lots of warehouses and factories and stuff. Uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Who knows what, uh, illicit material, illicit things they might be getting up to. Over the last couple streams in this world, we made this factory, which needs to be very detailed and finished. But made this factory that makes uh, pipe upgrades for us because they're exceedingly expensive and annoying to make in this pack. Um, and I kind of want to make another factory thing for food crafting because making our food in this game is really annoying. It's so tedious and I would like to create a cool looking contraption that'll be able to do it all for us. 
um, and do it in a cool and factory-like aesthetic way. Hydrate, thank you, Desmond. Welcome in. So, let's just start ingredient by ingredient. First things first, we need to take um, potatoes and squash them with an anvil. So, one thing I want to test uh, is um, conveyors, right? We've got these vertical conveyor belts. Now, I want to see if it's possible to use those to lift up an anvil. Luffy love, could we get some love in the chat for Desmond, please? Desmond, I don't know you super well, but just know that no matter what is going on in your life today, whatever is going on, it may make you need some love, but you've got it, you've got such support and love from this community just because you're you that's all you ever need to be just be you so if i do now the issue here is that this takes up a block space so i'm sure it's probably not gonna work Because, yeah, if I do that, even if I pushed that over, right? I mean, that is a question, right? Can I uh, get a regular conveyor? Where's my one? Here. Ben up, my teacher speaks German. Goodbye, goodbye, <laughs> good friends, goodbye. Because now it's time to go. Take care, Desmond. It's been great having you in. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, my friend. Take care. Foster check, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You just gotta learn, uh, you just gotta learn another language for it. I did. So. If I do, like, okay, so I can do something like, no, I can't. If I do, oh, that links up like that. Okay, can I do this? No, <laughs> I cannot. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Hokkaido, welcome in my friend. How you doing? We're playing some modded today. So we've got a couple options, right? So, there's obviously just getting a sticky piston. Uh, if you run the, uh, if you run, I do have slime, yeah. Um, uh, if you run the mod pack command, uh, then you'll be able to, uh, wait, I do, that. I do have the stuff I need. Uh, then you'll be able to get a link to the uh, to the mod pack itself. It is an expert mode mod pack called uh, Integrations. Integration, sorry. So we can do. Yep. Something like. Uh, the. Oh come on, that. Uh, and I think if I do that. It, that, nope, not J, K. Yes, K, that locks in my... I do that then. No! Also, that was the wrong direction I wanted anyway. So, that. Right, so let's do that and that. You. No! It was that, that was the way I wanted. Okay. Like that. Okay, beautiful. Get rid of you. WRB, how you doing, my friend? Spud, hello, hello. How you doing, my friend? Welcome on in. Uh, we are figuring out how to do some cool automation stuff. We just do that, and then we get ourselves a bouton. 
I need to stop moving my movement thing out of my bar. Blooper, hello gorgeous. How are you doing? I'm seeing lots of your beautiful face in my chat with your awesome new emotes. How you doing, Blooper? Uh, what do I want in my life? Um, chat, what did I want? A button. Honestly, if you're at a rave and in my chat right now, respect. <laughs> Some respect right there. So this is gonna just like immediately break this off, but yeah, okay, that just zero ticked it. That's not helpful for any. Uh, so let's do this instead. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't pick that up. What? I totally thought that worked. I thought it would pick it up and then drop it again. Interesting. But what we can do instead... Is yeah, we grab ourselves a slime block. I thought a slime block was four. Am I wrong? Oh, it's, oh, you can't, you can move tile entities. I don't know, weird. Cause I thought you could pick it up and then it would fall again. Same with like how you can with like a sand block. Like if I were to do this. And we grab like gravel off. Nor the rave yet. Oh, that sounds awesome. Uh, so let's just grab a piece of sand. Sand! <clears throat> I have a lot of things that are considered doing a spud. Interesting. If I do that, and then we just... Like a so, put our button, like this will pick up the sand and then drop it again. Like that's what I was expecting. What we can do instead is we can very simply do this. Really? I'm sorry, you can push pistons in Minecraft. Like, that's a thing. You can push pistons. You can push anvil. Excuse me? Where's my button? Give me my button. What? You can absolutely push, push anvils. Or do they have to be falling? What? Excuse me? Since when can you not move anvils with pistons? That's a hundred percent something you can do in Minecraft. And yes, you you can mine pistons with your hand. That was the like they don't they didn't have an optimal tool for a long time, and they finally made it pistons. 
That's that's so not right. Can someone confirm that that's not a vanilla thing? Someone confirm with me that you can push anvils in vanilla? I'm not crazy, right? Only when they're falling, okay. Uh huh. Okay, so instead. Bob the Builder, KSS. Hi, welcome in, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, Nikki. So apparently, I was crazy. Um, but what we can do anyway is still very simple. Um, grab one of these. Rude. Turn our magnet on. <laughs> um, grab one of these. Place it with that. Then what we do. Like that. Then we would have like... Or here. I mean, realistically, instead of that, we have... This. Put Anvil here. Ah. To start with. And then when we want to uh, replace it and move it again, we do this. Drop that, it'll turn into an item, and then it will like get pushed by this and go up to a block placer where we can place the thing again. Driving with me on speaker? I mean, that's that's a pretty good thing in my opinion. Now the question is, do we have two of these stations? One we need to detect when it breaks. We need to uh, be able to detect when it breaks so that we can replace it. What am I, what are you, uh, what tool do you want, Prelude? Um, our exchanging gadget is free, our purple bag, our sleeping bag is free. Um, this lumber axe I just made is free, as well as a bunch of stuff in here. But how are you, Prelude? I hope you're well. And yeah, you should listen to it. Sub to love. <laughs> uh, don't crush, I have enough dads get it. Jesus Christ. Any tool? Uh, it's gotta be something I use all the time. Okay, that's already been named. Um, how about you? That's been named. Uh, that's named. This one? I don't use it a lot, but I will be soon, because we need to get back into Britannia stuff, so let's do that. Uh, Anvil is on me currently. Happy with that? And yeah, listen, listen to the, listen to the wand. Sub to Sir Lapalot MC. Tier 3. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, we need, to start off with, uh, let's just grab some netherrack again, because we need to have a barrel 
So let's put that like here. Uh, on here. So in this barrel, this is where we put all the ingredients. So that would be potatoes and salt, I think, should be all we need to provide. I think that's all we need. Potatoes and salt. We should be able to cr uh, do everything else ourselves. So then... The potatoes need to go to an anvil system. Yo, Nemethy! Thank you so much for the sub, my friend. 18 months, holy heck! Do you know what essay I was gonna write because I was listening to you? What? <laughs> so, and do we have two stampers? Do we have two stampers? Because we need to flatten potatoes with this but then we also need to flatten the dough i think we have two stamping machines it's more expensive on the iron front but i'm not super fussed by that And we can probably also give this thing a bunch of iron and hook it up so that when it's running low on anvils, it can it just requests to autocraft more of them. Is also an option. So So I think our salt, because our salt needs to be split too, right? Um, because we need to use the salt twice. So we need to use the salt here. We need four salt and four pasta to make the soup. But we also need salt, four salt and four flour to make the dough. So we need to split that. Split that. The salt we put in in half. You're in school and I need to write an essay, but since I hyper-focused on you, didn't hear my teacher? Well, I mean, that sounds like a skill issue. So we can... Try to bounce anvils around to a degree. So in order to get... Um, in order to get our pasta, as well as our dough, as well as our flour, we need to crush items with a falling anvil. So to get our, to get our dough, to get our flour, sorry, uh, we smash either potatoes or wheat, which we'll do potatoes because we can get more of them with an anvil. Uh, and then, uh, once we've done that, uh, we make our dough by putting, combining flour and salt in like a water source, and that gets us our dough, and then we need to flatten the dough with an anvil again to get the pasta. And then we need to combine the salt and the pasta in hot stock, uh, to get the noodle soup. The hot stock we get with this thing. Uh, that's something I'm less concerned about. Right now we're starting to think I'm a sane furry. Excuse me? Oh, blooper. Yeah. Sane is a strong word. Because we've got, like, a couple things of fluid crafting. I think we just want it to go, like, stage by stage, right? So. Things here, then we probably want maybe a router, let's say here, have a router there, that will send the salt upwards maybe. So we have something like this and a vertical 
um, thingamahoozy there. So that will split the salt and the potatoes. Then our potatoes come through here. And then we have our stamping machine one. Uh, somehow. Then, so we stamp the... Uh, so probably we would have the conveyor going up and putting the potatoes here. Then we drop the anvil on. Then we retract this block. And there's another conveyor here. So that would drop the anvil as well as the... Um, as well as the flower onto there, which we can then move along. Um, to a water crafting, fluid crafting thing. So this is where half of the salt comes in with the flour uh, and gets mixed in water. And we move that along to maybe another stamping unit here. Oh, I just got a, I just got a gifted sub to, to clean. Awesome. Um, stamping machine here maybe, because then we've got our pasta. So then let's maybe take a turn. So then here we would have... Um... So this is where we want our stock. So I think here we have a fluid placer that places our hot stock here. Or even our hot water. Places our hot water here so we can drop the items onto it. Then to get to this point, we need to place our trap Because there's something down there. Enjoy the luck, Nikki. I appreciate ya. Okay, so we place our hot stock here and drop the pasta and the salt into it. Uh, then here we place our hot water and we drop a bone into it to turn it into the hot stock. And then here we um, right click the hot plate with the water to turn it into, um, into the hot water. And pick that up, place it here, drop the bone, pick that up, place it here, drop the items. Obviously there are more efficient ways to do this, but we're doing it in an aesthetic way. So then we need to be able to break the hot plate and send that to get smelted. That can maybe be an off branch path back here into a furnace and then back in. And then we need to get the uh, actual water things. So that's where we have an auto crafter from immersive engineering here with like a sink. And I think I had like a setup with like doing a bucket and stuff. So we'll like recreate similar to what we did over there. So this will be a full immersive food factory. We put stuff in here and then it's gonna be automatically creating stuff over here. Uh, sending it all into the middle, and then this is where it's going to be converting to the food. Oh, what if instead... Okay. So what if we have the food getting created in a middle line? Like this. That ends with the food being created like here, getting passed into a chest. So then the items from here, so this is all just the creation of the dough. No, this is the creation of the pasta. And splitting of the salt. Uh, F2B is Feed the Beast. It is a, um... It's a... 
guess organization of sorts um that does a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. And how are you Simoto? welcome in welcome in hope you're well but it's kind of a style of mod pack is ftb can we some love in the chat for Simoto, please but it's super cool awesome human being and i appreciate their exist hydrate thank you my friend All right, so I'm thinking, yes, yeah, so. Do something like this. Okay. So this takes the pasta. So he let's say here-ish. So we need to take fluid from like a sink we need to take water and turn it into a bucket so we can say take so let's match it up with you, right if that's going to be our item input there waller mc thank you for the follow my friend i appreciate it welcome in so let's say this can be our sink or even, to make it cooler, let's even do, like, a water source here with a pump from Immersive Engineering on top of it. No. Oh, I feel like I could- I just used the auto crafter and turned it from fluid into that. But it's more interesting to do it this way. So instead, let's do like a water source. Um, water source here, then we have a dispenser. Like that. That will fill it with water. It'll get water into a bucket. Then we pull out of that, so maybe the dispenser is here, on top of there, and the water's here. How are you, Walla? Welcome in. So dispenser's here, then we pull out of that when we know it's a, um, when we know it's a full bucket, we pull out of there. Then we send that full bucket... Although I vaguely remember the autocrafter didn't like. I don't think I could get the buckets out of the autocrafter. From immersive engineering. I think it didn't like byproducts. Because I think I tried to do it. Like I think I just have to feed it water. Which is less interesting. Um, but I do think we do water source, maybe. Mod looks funny. Thank you, thank you. I mean, yeah. So this is a, this is a, a mod pack. So we are doing, uh, doing lots of cool, lots of thingy thingies. Um, what are we finally? Uh, I still need to do more building work and stuff, but, um. Uh, yeah, we're good, using lots of mods, lots and lots of mods. Um, and I'm trying to do things in a cool aesthetic way with a lot of our factories. Like, it would be a lot easier to do all this with just, like, pipes and stuff. I mean, the anvil thing's gonna be interesting no matter, no matter what. So I think we still have a water source here, and then we use a pump, and then we use a pipe. The pipe into an auto crafter. So that can be maybe here. How do I stir boiling pasta without a wooden spoon? Stick. 
Really anything that won't melt will do. The auto crafter here. Then got the water, so then we need a hot plate. And put the hot plate here. Maybe. Yes. But you can always wrap uh wrap the piece of metal with um like with a piece of towel or something to protect your hand from the heat. So we would have maybe this here. A um, I don't think a dispenser works. I think I need to use a auto user here, and that would right that would right click um, this guy with the thing a hoozy. Then we'll point that I can get a little ditty. Heck yeah, um, with that, and that will create hot water here. But then I wonder this is something I. This would be an interesting thing to do. A fire risk, a towel, no. Just wrapping a tea towel or something around like a metal spoon thing. That's not a fire risk if you... Boss should check. Like, don't put it in the gas. Thank you for the posture check, Waller. I appreciate it. But I want to see if we grab a dispenser, right? I grab a bouquet. I want to see you. Right. Um, do I know if this is? Can I see what I'm looking at? Okay, so that is hot water. Interesting. So... Let's, uh... Throw a block... Like that. And I want to know if I can pick that up with a dispenser. I can. Can I then place this with the dispenser? No. Okay. And then presumably... If I grab a bone, uh, and if at any point you guys need me to stop, slow down, and explain what I'm doing, please feel free. I'm just like in pure engineering chaos headspace right now. So if I toss this in here, and then we do this again, pick up the stock. Yep, and I assume I can't... No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because I like the idea of moving the fluid around. You're done, they get you to sing it to me? You... Yeah, but the problem with getting me to sing it is that we're not actually on the screen while I'm doing it. Okay.
I mean, that's true. That's a point, I suppose. Okay. It's probably not worth using a dispenser. Although, I mean, probably, actually. Hmm. No, yeah, it's probably not worth using a dispenser. Instead, it's probably better to use fluid collectors and fluid places, um, which I've got in here. Um, so this is a fluid collector. And then this is a fluid place. Let's say, as much as I love the idea of doing the dispenser and passing the bucket along, uh, which I think is way cooler, but it's not really going to work if I've got a... I mean... I could use an automatic user to right click the button the bucket back down and then realistically use the same user to pick it up again. That's a concept. Do I have any? Like just around to use? Probably. Yeah, I've got a couple of these. Because I'll just need to right click. Shouldn't be like a huge issue. So, I think this is live. Hopefully this will be powered. Yes. So, and we definitely want it to require redstone. So if I put in here a bucket, and we'll turn... I think we'll turn the tick delay off. Do I have any spare buckets on me? No, that's fine. Go grab a bucket. Uh, ah, sap bucket. That's these are some cool fl fluid uh, textures. Actually, this one's a bit much, but I do like the others. I like that it's just not the same. Okay, so we'll grab that. And then, yeah, I'm going to grab, grab that. I'm going to put it in here. No, I'm going to uh, grab my dank. I'm going to do that. Then I don't want to use a button. want to use like an we want to give it like a one tick pulse right so let's just grab trap door the shit they were out of stock for the phone I want. That's a bit sad. Didn't you just upgrade your phone? Or did you do it online? And now they're out of stock. I 
don't I just get a bucket? Okay, guess that doesn't do anything with it. Oh my god. That, thank you. Okay. Have that. Why is redstone? Did nothing. speakers came okay nice and do i need a a button button go Giving you redstone. Are you just not in the bucket? Why? Why are you not picking that up? You're an item user. You should be able to do that. Why this not working? I would rather do this if I can. By that. Okay, that's not working at all either. You have power. I give you redstone, you don't place. You don't need redstone, you still don't place. Tell me, does it work with, like, a normal fluid? Because I know the, like, IPDX stuff is kind of weak. And the fact that they're kind of made with scripts and don't actually kind of really exist. If I do that, is that going to work? No, okay, so why can't it place... Why can't it use... Why can't it use buckets? <laughs> oh, man. Hokkaido. I'm happy to do this ditty. But I do want you to know that uh, you're going to be underwhelmed by how little I know <laughs> about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay. You do too much effort into your essay. Good work. You're trying hard in school, and I think that's good. But we have a little ditty here from the wonderful... Uh, Kaido Hokkaido, Jojo's Underwhelming Adventure. Wah, 
Hoo-ha! Do you ever need somebody who will come and save the day? You're hoping and you're praying, oh, you pray the day away. And then there he comes, the one to save the family. The one who is here, you will never know misery again. Jojo is here to stop the enemies clear. But then... Wait, no, he does nothing at all. Nothing at all. He just kind of walks away. Anyway, that was how Jojo gave me a very underwhelming day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, Hokkaido. So for some reason this doesn't fuck it. I'm not telling it to use the left hand. Like it should be using it. It should be right clicking with this bucket. Okay. Why is it the intro to the TV show Bulletproof? Cool. I don't actually know it. Um, so then we've got to use places and stuff. This is a shame. I'd have liked to be able to use buckets. I think it's more interesting. Um, so. Fluid. I've got pipes. Um, I want fluid collectors. I have one of them that I didn't just get though from Quest. Yeah, done. I should have this. I have this. I made these things before. <laughs> British crime drama featuring fictionalized version of the National Crime Agency. Okay, that's cool. Okay. I just need to get one of these. Metal press mold. Steel plates and... Look over here. Got the cutters. I just need, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about, uh, uh, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. You. Then I need these things. So I need a quantity. We'll need hot water to hot stock. We need two of these. And then I assume the fluid placer probably needs them. Yes. So that will need also two? Hot water, hot stock, yeah. Okay, so that means we need 
four in total, which means we need eight of these. Just want to check. Just one. Right? Yeah. Fairly joke of a criminal intelli intelligence agent. Ah. Lol. Uh. Grab some. Should have plenty. Yep. Because I've got it automatically crafting. To these. That or that. Uh, probably do want that. <laughs> -na 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 -na. That will steal in. I do want to have um, access points to our storage system uh, around the base. So that's that. That away. Uh, quickly put this. So, wood collector. So we're gonna bug you. Uh, for these, for these. Banana. Na 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 na. Oh, that. And I don't know if I have any of those. I'm. Kind of see. <laughs> okay, so just don't have the machine frame or. I need more of these. Okay. Let's just process like a stack of them. This is, these are expensive. Note, I don't need to use these <laughs> in any way.
that. Okay, that seems good. I just don't want to let too many out at once. probably don't have yep <laughs> that is to be expected or expensive can I make it oh. <laughs> six six different agencies yeah to that. I didn't have copper coils, I think it said. Steel rods. I think are easy cheaper to craft. That was all I could have put. Okay, I need more of the copper wiring. Copper. Like two stack. I have to like manually mine for copper. I don't think I get that from my mob farm. Uh, then you... Uh, uh... Okay, so your copper plate in an extruder. Platinum. Let's actually instead grab a stack of these. Then go extrude the... Canning. Oh. I only get two per. No, I got three per. Okay, that's, that's all right. Could be worse. It means we'll get what six stacks of these. I don't know why you can't put dough into an extruder to make pasta as beyond me. Uh, because the mod author really liked doing weird and wacky recipes, that's why. And then automating this process would be much simpler. Whereas this is far more interesting. A far more interesting um, task. It's kind of the point of these packs is we've got to like think, we've got to think creatively about stuff. One day I will build these smokestacks. One day. Most common type of pasta eating these days. Yeah, I know. But then I wouldn't have to automate a 
then I wouldn't have to figure out how to automate the anvil smashing thing. And this is far more interesting. Expensive. Uh, I don't even know. Fine. What is this? Upper singularity. Okay. Now to make these. Or. All this, all of this work and expensive things and crafting because I want to do things in a complicated way. Opinion on fish. Um, what about them? <laughs> There's many of them. I got my level two food qualification. I'm most comfortable using store board. I mean, that's fair. But that's, uh, it was more about the crafting recipe wise. The fact that I can't put it in my extrusion machine. Tuna is... That's an incorrect take. Tuna's great. Um, so I know I didn't have enough buckets. Let's just like... Make a handful. Frosty, hello gorgeous. How you doing? I don't need that. So can I... Can I make these now? And the buckets hit the system. One, two. Nice. That's the collectors. Uh... If we were going to ban, we'd have already done it. It's alright, man. Fluid collectors. Then I need fluid placer, which requires those. Uh, am I missing anything else? Invar gears. Okay, I need four of those then. Up till midnight building in Minecraft? Heck yeah, that's what I love to hear. I mean, you should sleep, but also building in Minecraft is the best. Okay, let's... Oh my god. That's so annoying. <laughs> Alright, uh, am I... Uh, I'm only just missing the bucket sends. I probably need more buckets. Let's just make a ton. We have heaps of iron. Frank eating with hands of a color or a century thing? I think so, yeah. Have a blessed and great day, everyone. Oh, good. See ya, Waller. Thanks for being here. I appreciate ya. Um, I prefer not to eat with my hands a lot of the time as a century thing. I don't like the feeling of... It's mainly, like, I don't like the feeling of my hands, like, feeling greasy or anything. Grabbing stuff, but took a break to do some relaxing building. Heck yeah. Okay, so we can do that, and then I can straight up craft this. Um, so I need three buckets, so let's do, uh, let's just make like ten. Wait, with chopsticks is a good middle ground? Nice. I used to be pretty alright with chopsticks, uh, and then uh, I was out having ramen with... Uh, with Knight the other day, and, um, 
I discovered that I don't know how to use them anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm out of... Are you... No, are you kidding me? I mean, I'm out of compressed steel. Really? Oh no, never mind. Never mind. No big spoons? Fair. I mean, I'm not like the most coordinated of human beings. So... Yes, I can. Fine, because the piece sucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ocean is getting better. Nice. What are we working on today? We are working on. Um. Um, we are, we're trying to make a cool aesthetic factory thing like this, uh, that we automated, used to automate, um, pipe upgrades, but I want to do one to automate our food because, uh, crafting our food is actually a really annoying and painstaking, um, painstaking thing. So I want to create a cool contraption that's going to do it all for us. Just picked up a double espresso latte. That sounds so good. Guys, you're making me want to go and like take a break and get a coffee. <laughs> okay, so we've got these now. So if this is the hot plate, then we need um a Collector here. Hey. hey, Ricky, how you doing? So we do that and then we can pipe that maybe just one over, right? To here. Wish there was a bubble tea shop near me. Yeah. I don't I don't do a whole lot of bubble tea in Boba, but every once in a while I get some and it's very nice. Milk blended with flavored syrup. Rape, yeah, it's Well no, uh No, that's a thick shake. A mil uh, uh, a milkshake with ice cream is a thick shake. A frappe is is um uses uh blended ice. A frappe isn't a nice isn't a nice coffee. A frappe is blended with ice. It uses blended ice. Okay. We have that here, and then we would have a placer here. Like that. Then we would also need a collector here. But for me, whenever I get one, 
Like when they're too bitter, that's fair. I mean, a big thing with, um, I used to find that ice lattes and stuff, when I'd get them made, they were always really bitter. And I found that the secret is you actually need to store it, stir them. <laughs> when doesn't die need of a new battery, but I have to wait a week. Rough. Using up the last percentages. Fair enough. All debate about cultural wording. I mean, yeah. So. Because we also need to drop a bone in here, right? Plain water solos? What? I don't quite know what you mean by that. Um, I want everything to be visible. Okay. So, we... I guess have... That there? No. Like that. That's the col- That's the placer? Oh, they're both pl- You idiot, Larpy. <laughs> that one. Collector. Comfort drink you had in Amsterdam? Yeah, sure. I'll be able to talk to you and the others for about an hour for the next couple of days? That's totally fine, Ricky. Um, so we do that. And then we have another place uh, here. Like that. That places the hot stock. No, I want this. If we do the place a place the hot stop. Then we bring the items up, the salt and the pasta up, so it passes through that. Because that will just delete the hot stock anyway when the items pass through. Then they can drop down here as the as the new thing a hoot. This is hot plate. Now we also need to then smelt the hot plate. A breaker and placer. One of you, I need a block breaker. But half the season packet. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. I'm about drawing all my teachers for no reason, printing them out and giving it to them, because why not? Heck yeah, I love that. Fan art for your team. So let's say put the breaker there, maybe. doesn't matter. Then we want our placer like and 
that. Now we will need something to suck up the item. Doesn't pick it up. a place up. Down there with a the straw, let's go. She keeps everything the kids gives to her, that's cute. I'm going to Luna Park, drama teachers. You're a, you're a cool kid. Okay. Slowly figuring things out, I need an Ender Hopper thing. item that to it what are my weekend plans so well saturday stream um on sunday uh i'm going out with a streamer friend sunday latte uh we're going together it's gonna be lovely something bad happened yesterday but i don't know how i feel about it i mean that's fair it's uh emotions are complicated things um so, do I, ha I should have more of these hot plates. Hot plates. Uh, and then, because my weekends are essentially Sunday, Monday. Um, because I take those two days off from stream now. Uh, so, on Monday, uh, I don't have anything planned for during the day, but I'll be doing housework stuff, probably. Uh, and then... Um, and then on in the evening on the 19th yeah, 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 yeah. Addison Addison welcome in welcome in uh, on the 19th uh, I'll be on uh, V's channel uh, playing Fall Guy which is going to be super fun hey Addison how you doing we are figuring out uh, a complicated contraption to create our food so I do this with a that in it lock that so only that can go in you yeah, am the very tired that's fair had a nightmare that was due to PTSD I get that it's yeah it's never easy those kind of dreams are really hard <laughs> they're really really hard then we need a boyness do i have an rf powered furnace that i don't need can power for only um Autumn. I do this and what options do I have? Endstone furnace, that would just use fuel to that'll please Snaps. Hello! Hello, random. How we doing? How we doing, my friend? Hope you're doing super, super well. Super dang well. Thank you for the raid, my friend. It's been a little while. I uh, haven't, haven't been in on your streams for a little while. It's a sad day for everyone involved, if you ask me. Raiders, welcome in for those who do not know. Uh, my name is Sir Laflot. All my friends call me Laffy. 
Let me just sit up a bit straighter. Uh, this here is Maurice. He's the patron saint of the channel. He looks over us. He hopes you're well. If you're ever having a bad day, you feel like nobody cares. Maurice cares. Uh, Ricky, I don't do um, Laughy Love for other people. It's only for you. Uh, and he hopes you're having a good day. How was your stream, my friend? What were you up to? What were you doing today? Uh, we're playing some modded, modded, modded Minecraft. Uh, doing some crazy- <laughs> Yeah, I didn't copy your aid message. I've been there, my friend. Been there. But yeah, Ricky, I, um, I don't do, uh, I don't let people redeem Laffy Loves for other people, and that's just because, um, plenty of people have- uh, mixed feelings and trauma relating to compliments, so I'm not willing to give them out uh, without consent from the uh, from the party. So I'm happy to I'm happy to to do it for you, but if you um, but I can uh, I can refund it if it's not something that you, uh, but I can refund it if uh, you don't want that. In modern Minecraft as well, playing a pack called Crazy Craft Light. Ooh. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. You need a compliment, Frosty? I mean, that's valid. You deserve it. You're happy to have it? Uh, you happy to have it, Ricky? All right, can we get some love in the chat? I'll just do one at a time to start with. Can we get some love in the chat for Ricky, please? Otherwise known as Phoenix Fry. Ricky joined us. Probably a year and a half ago, maybe? Um... It's been a while. You, uh, you came in a very long time ago, and then you, uh, then you weren't here for a while, but it's super nice to see you back, and that you're having a good time, you're a regular. It's just... It's really nice to have you around, and, uh, you're becoming a core member of the community. And I appreciate you, and I appreciate you being here. Can we also? So you spent stream designing a check-in redemption hall. That's sick. That's cool. We are working on... So... We're doing an expert mode pack, but I'm... Kind of working on making... Uh, factories... Over-the-top... Aesthetic factories... For, like, auto-crafting, like, one item. <laughs> so we're working on that to create our food. Because it's actually a really complicated and annoying process to do. Now, can we also get some love in the chat for Frosty, or otherwise known as the Frosted Donut? Uh, and as part of this laughy love, Dal, can I please have a shout out to the Frosted Donut? Frosty is a great friend of mine. Frosty is a member of the Stream Perth community. Alas, no, it doesn't have the Create mod, and that's what makes it so much harder, because the conveyor belts from Immersive Engineering suck. <laughs> I hate them. Um, they're very annoying to try and make systems that won't just... that won't, like, make all your items despawn. Um... They don't, they don't have, like, smart logic. They're not inventories like the Create conveyor belts are, and it's very annoying. Um, but yes, Frosty is just super awesome. Uh, does cool crafting, crafting streams, uh, is over on the POG SMP. Uh, is just a pure and utter delight. Whenever I get to collab or do anything with Frosty, it just fills my heart with warmth. She's just amazing. You're pooping. I feel like there's no reason you can't shout someone out while you're pooping. Disgusting. Uh, so absolutely, uh, you guys should all give uh, Frosty a follow. She's a, she's a smaller streamer. Just a pure and utter delight. Well, get up, dangling it between your legs, and do it on the computer, and hope you don't drop it on the carpet. The audacity. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, the steps to make this, and I'm trying, and I'm bloating it out a little bit. Uh, bloating out, 
putting it out a little bit to make it look more interesting as we go. But for our noodle soup, first things first, we start with the pasta. So we need flour, which we take potato or wheat and crush it with a falling anvil. Then, We put four flour and four salt into water, and that converts into dough. And then we smash that dough with an anvil to get pasta. And then we put pasta and salt in hot stock. Wait a minute, where did we get the hot stock from? We, uh, we get a hot plate. We right click it with one of the uh, Pam's Harvest Craft like water bucket things, which I have to make using an auto crafter. And then that, I right click it with that, then it places hot water above here, but then this no longer is a hot plate. So we need to re smelt it to be hot again. And then we drop a bone into the hot water and that turns it into stock and then we drop four pasta and four salt into the stock and that becomes four noodle soup and just because i want to i'm having all of the different fluid interactions be different steps the middle of was eating chicken curry and spaghetti on the same plate Ooh. Yeah, it's really annoying. It's a really, really frustrating recipe. Um, so I'm creating a fun contraption that will do it for me, albeit slowly. And I'm just gonna like put like potatoes, um, like pizza and smile. Well, pizza's worse too. Like all of these are awful, right? I'm sorry, do I not have pizza? Can I not make pizza? Well, that's rude. Dare it not let me make pizza. But either way, all the recipes are absurd. <laughs> um. But yeah. It's an expert mode pack, and the creator really, really went to town on the food recipes to make me cry. Just made spaghetti for lunch, it was delicious, heck yeah. All mixed- Ugh. Ugh. And you the food they crafted for free? That'd be great. Just... Yeah. Give me... Just... <laughs> I probably made about five stacks of, no of chicken noodle <laughs> soup at this point. Yeah, if the spaghetti is plain, that's okay. If it's like spaghetti with a, like a sauce, then that's awful. Yeah, bad Minecraft make you feel hungry. That's fair. I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Not your cheese on sushi. I'm sorry, can someone call the police? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's horrific. Okay, so. I know Pam's Harvest Craft did have pizza. But I know, like, a lot of the Pam Savas Cross stuff isn't, like, necessarily in this pack. It's mainly just got the actual foods as opposed to a lot of the ingredients. I mean, that is true. Edison is, is, uh, using... Yeah. 
let's avoid uh, generalizations about race and stuff. Um, what am I doing in my life? Okay. That's okay. So I need. I think the only option I have is altific. Is using this guy. Can't make you. Ah. Can't make that. Uh, that's not great. Am I be getting an awesome assessment done soon? Heck yeah. Yeah, that sounds truly horrific, yes. <laughs> okay. It's starting to make my brain cry. I haven't even figured out how we're going to do the anvil stamping machines yet. I mean, I have to a degree, but I haven't, like, actually, like, drawn. You could eat fries on a bread roll. I mean, that's a very good way to do it. With butter? I think it's called a like, it's called like a chip buddy or something in, in England. Like it's a, it's a English thing, but like a chip buddy or something. With tomato sauce? I've just done it with like butter. mushy peas in there too yeah that's a i'm gonna say that's a weird british thing to me the idea of like mushy peas like that just seems like a textural nightmare to me <laughs> calm down british person which peas make me uncomfortable i've never like had them but like, the idea of, does the idea of them make me squirm a little? All right, so I need bones as well. Put bones, salt, and potatoes in this barrel. Have them split and go all the places they need. Peas and butter are kind of mushy after a bit. I mean, yeah, but. My brain is just like... <laughs> Fan of minted mushy peas, fair. Well, I guess some chicken out of the freezer for Japanese curry tonight. That sounds awesome. I forget to put mushy peas in it. At mint and watermelon, I can't say I have. Interesting. Tell me more. People people always say that I'm mad when um when I say that uh cheese and peanut butter is an awesome combo. Oh everyone always thinks I'm mad, but I don't understand why. It's so good. Peanut butter and cheese, like it slaps. Nacho cheese and sushi, I mean, yeah. Isn't peanut butter so good? I love it. Back in 1863 in... I'm like a share. Second ever fish and chip shop. Interesting, cool. A big on peanut butter textures, but cheese is delicious. Valid. These flavor crackers with peanut butter, that sounds good. We are officially in the I'm doing nothing but run, run around in circles part of the stream. How I feel. I'm a big fan of peanut butter, but like I don't have it often because I'm not much of a sweet tooth guy. But also like, I live in a house where we don't have like bread. So like, I'm not really gonna have peanut butter on anything. 
Franken's cheese, also good. You know what's also good? Just cheese. Uh, because like my parents are keto and stuff, usually cheese boards for us is just cheese. <laughs> Cheese to add to stuff, but we just eat it. We don't we don't need crackers to have our cheese. So, so. I will still need one of these for I need one of these to go next to the hot plate. Like that. Because it needs to right click this guy. cheese crisps what's in a keto diet so keto is uh keto is low carb high fat so essentially anything anything that is like sugars or carbs at all so like brain or anything like that let me move around getting caught in the fridge at the minute <laughs> eating cheese yeah but my mom's celiac so we just don't have bread in the house in it. On a banana wrap. That's a lot of effort. Is the main thing I'll say there. Seems like a lot of effort. Lactose and weed intolerant. I'm lactose intolerant. But like the benefit is like most like hard cheeses actually hard cheeses actually don't have a whole lot of lactose in them. The quiche pizza that you showed me, yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. I'm a hero. Did I grow a dislike to pizza? Probably aged cheese has no lactose. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna need some clarification on that, Abby. Is it like, just, what? Because pizzas are like, that's a huge range of things, right? Is it like, Domino's? Is it actual pizza? Is it like a specific like kind of flavor of pizza? My father's house, we get pizza. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I get that. You see, I prefer, um, I prefer, uh, like, a thinner crust. I like a more, like, kind of traditional style. Supreme. Cream's like my go-to. Olives and meat and sometimes pineapple. It's just so gorgeous. Pizza with pineapples is great. Top tier. Like the mix of the salty and the sweet. Awesome. Great combo. So close to 15k, heck yeah. Let's um Let's kind of admit defeat to a degree here. I'm just gonna sit here and we're gonna go pop in and just chatting, because that's all we're doing right now. Uh <laughs> Cause uh my brain is mm. <laughs> There's certainly, a, so it's interesting, right? Because before Daybreak, not Daybreak, before Nine Live started, we were very, very into the modded. And I was, uh, I was enjoying, 
I was enjoying the modded significantly more than I was enjoying vanilla and vanilla kind of felt a little bit like a chore and it was like and the streams were a bit shorter and stuff because I just was struggling to like do stuff but now it's um we've kind of hit that swap point now uh I'm really excited and inspired and having so much fun in the vanilla world at the moment uh doing building and all this stuff and like I still love doing and doing the like technical and engineering side of things and like we're doing a different build style which is fun and stuff in this world but right now it's like I can stream for like five five and a half hours in the vanilla world easy here like I hit the two hour mark and my brain's like yeah okay we're good we're done so I think we might swap over today maybe we'll see I just like to, it's one of those things of like, one, it's hard to sort of like put, like kind of sort VODs into playlists uh, if I do more than one thing. Uh, so that's part of why I don't like doing it. Um, MCCI parkour break. You see, the, the problem with the modded series, right, is it's really hard to take breaks to go to something vanilla because it takes so long to open the, open the client. To actually open the modded client and i don't think my computer can handle having both open at once because usually i will like close down my client if we go and do something else to do um but for this it's always like oh i don't really want to do that because yeah obvious reason it just take it takes like five minutes to open the open the client we might swap over i'm not sure uh, I do want to go and get myself a coffee, because I am sleepy. But no, and it's it's just interesting, right? Because I do love both. Both is great. I love both. It's just about, like, what I can do for longer at a time, right? Like, I love doing this and, like, doing it for a couple hours. Is get sleepy when it's hot? Yeah. The other... <laughs> That's another issue, right, is... One, it's hot. But also, like, the aircon's been on, like, constantly here. So it's actually been kind of chilly inside, like, especially in the living room. Here, I'm sweating. But, like, in the living room, like, I come out in the morning and I'm, like, sitting having my coffee. And I'm like, I'm cold. And that's also making me sleepy. <laughs> but, yeah, so I do want to do another heads up. Um, that Mikey inspectors dress me out. I mean, that's fair. I get that. Man, that's that's something that I find uh, wild uh, in Perth, actually. Is every time I catch the train, my ticket, my, um, my smart rider is checked on board by transit, by transit, uh, transit police. That, like, never happened in Sydney. <laughs> like, they are way better at, um, at being on top of that here in Perth. Than they are in Sydney. But also the the smart rider system here is like Um But the smart rider system here is it's really clunky. <laughs> the the actual like Opal system in Sydney is significantly better. Never Mikey inspectors on bus or train, my luck with Sarah on the bus stop, rough. Trains is 50-50. Honey popping in, that's all good, Twig. Appreciate it. Gotta look after the sisters. I mean, I think the best way to look after some sisters is to just put them in front of my stream. <laughs> it's perfect, right? My fan needs to go up. Yeah, that is that is something um, that I found interesting when I moved over here. Like, I was a bit oh, rough. Can't get on the tube or the bus without tapping your oyster card. Well, it's the same here, right? Um, like, it's the same here. Uh, like, you've got to tap on to go in, but, um, at the end of the day, there's always going to be people who, who like, jump, uh, turnstiles and stuff. Or tap on with, uh, concession cards that aren't theirs and things. 
get on a train without tapping on, they aren't very strict with it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I used to live um, in West Ride. I used to live in West Ride in Sydney. And on one side of the train station. But to get to the shops on the other side of the train station, you had to walk through the train station. And, like... And that included going in past the, past the like, tap-on stuff. Yeah, it's the same here. You tap on and you tap off. But no, the Opal system's great. Um, like, the big thing that I find really annoying here is just... Topping up your card is really clunky and annoying. Uh, one is a tourist in Sydney or someone who doesn't catch the train often in Sydney. The fact that you can just tap your credit card is so good. Yo! Bum, ba, ba, da, bum, bum, ba, da. I was thinking about you the other day. How you doing, Starboy? How we doing? How we doing? Hope you're doing well. How we doing, Raiders? Welcome in. Welcome in. Angel Fangs, welcome. How are we? How are we? Misty, of course, my friend. I hope you're doing so, so well. Folks, if you haven't uh, followed Starboy, you absolutely should. Uh, Misty is an awesome... Uh, I'm singing in the rain Just singing in the rain Gotta sing everything. You know, if you're gonna do that blueberry, you could at least talk every once in a while. <laughs> but welcome in Raiders, you should follow Starboy. They're an awesome art streamer and super adorable person in the world of the stream, and you should give them a follow. Raiders welcome in, my name is Laffy. This here is Maurice and he wants you to be happy. He wants you to have a good day and hopes that something can make you smile and hope that good things really come your way. Thank you, Garlic Bread and Man Bog Boy, for the follow today. I appreciate you. If you can't talk doing college things, you surely shouldn't be able to make me sing everything, you awful, awful bat. So how about that? We are technically playing modded Minecraft, but we've just been chatting for a bit because my brain is... Struggling with it right now. Struggling with it right now. How was your stream, my friend? What did you do? I hope it was as great and awesome as you. Ba -da -da -da. We've been working on a complicated machine to make food for me cause it's really annoying to make food in this pack you will play an infinite craft that's super sick and cool my friend misty thinks i'm awesome oh my oh my oh my oh my oh my oh why is this out of place with the timer that's so annoying oh my but we're just kind of vibing for a moment i'm probably gonna take a break in a sec to get some coffee focus webcam coffee i love them so much but if you need to raid and run my friend especially your community Please look after yourself, have some water, some food, or a nap. Whatever you need to look after yourself, you are so important, I want your health to be good. Yes, you should. 
How much longer is on this godforsaken timer? 25 seconds, oh my. I'm just waiting and staring into the void as the timer flicks before my eyes and I can stop singing, oh my. I want to, oh my god, we're going to die. Blueberry, why do you do these things to me? Blueberry, why do you do these things to me? Really, Blueberry? Really? You redeem, sing everything, and then have the audacity to redeem a laughy love. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> Go and now it's late. All good, my friend. Have a uh, have some good food. Have a wonderful night's sleep. I appreciate you and you bringing your community. Can we get please? So much love in the chat for Blueberry Bat, please. Blueberry is a being of chaos, but also just a wonderful human being that I am glad is one of my mods, and I get to see them in my chat all the time. They're super, super awesome. And smarty pants doing all the science stuff. I'm just proud of all you're accomplishing, my friend. I know you're struggling with things. But you're smashing it out. And I appreciate it. The audacity. Alright, but folks, so before I take a quick break i'm going to do a another reminder of a few kind of things that are coming up on the pipeline for the channel so on monday i will be over on um over on venus au's channel playing some fall guys uh it's going to be a super super fun time uh you guys should get an announcement because we're gonna we're planning to use the guest stars feature so you, you should get a go live kind of thing when i guest star over there it's gonna be a really fun time i'm super excited uh more information for that on the discord and stuff as well as on my tweeter uh and then on thursday next week the 22nd is our two-year stream anniversary in that stream anniversary i'm gonna be reacting to a let's play i made 10 years ago um for minecraft uh, I will also be doing a giveaway um, for a copy of Minecraft. There is a possibility of, of some other prizes of um, that have been offered to me by potential sponsor. So that is a possibility as well. But, uh, yeah, just want you to uh, keep up with that. I'm going to go take a, a few minute break, my friends. So... Uh, Yep, I'm gonna go get a coffee, as you can see I clearly need. My brain is slow right now. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be running some ads so that we can keep uh, pre-rolls off for the next... What do you mean preparing a three-minute ad? I've been going for two minutes fifteen! What are you... Why? Stupid Twitch. Um, look forward to those streams. Thank you, Panic. And welcome in. I feel like I haven't necessarily seen you today. Um, so, and a reminder for the 19th for Monday, I won't be streaming here. I will only be over on Venus B's channel. Uh, so I'll actually do a quick that. Uh, uh, so I would recommend go and giving V a follow. Uh, cause I'll be, I'll be over there on, uh, on Monday. It's going to be really, really fun. Uh, so I guess I'm just sitting here waiting for a minute and a half while I wait for, um, the ability to run an ad. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but yes, in the meantime, while we are on a, on a break, please take the opportunity to look after yourself as well. Just stand up, move your body around, maybe have a glass of water, bite to eat. Um, I say this a lot and I mean it. Your health matters so much more to me than my view. So very much so. God, I'm tired. Alright folks, I'll be back in a few minutes. I love you all.
Take care.
delicious. Welcome in, my friend. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm Frosty. All good, my friend. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Good night. So what I think I'm going to do... I think... I think we're going to change gears. We're going to move from modded to our vanilla world. Uh, and we're just gonna do some caving or something, I think. Just something chill and easy. Minus getting hit in the face with the baseball, that doesn't sound fun. I mean, I guess it depends on who you are, but you know. Um... What am I doing? You can tell I still have zero brain power, right? Um... Yes, opening Minecraft. So not by Abby? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. I believe. Now let's just... Close all of the modded Minecraft things that... Flag... That just stay happening. And for some reason... Skype exists. That can get out of my running programs. You fell dramatically. Good, I'm glad. The only thing that matters here is good drama. Let's move, uh, move some lurks around. I'm sorry. Night Cur is live. That's exciting. Maurice is good, my friend. Maurice is good. Maurice is good. I've got him back on the normal shoulder, because, like, he just... He was just shady over there. He wasn't, um... He just didn't have good enough lighting. And so I've got to try and figure out how to not block him with the mic and still have the mic in a good spot. Um, you know, it's all a constant process of trying to figure out all of this stuff, you know. Uh, I do need to do a... bippity boppity boo Commands. Uh, default. Hello, wild. Beautiful. Yeah, we are. Uh, we did about two hours in the modded world, and then my brain just kind of stopped being able to like think about things and became very slow. So we're just kind of moving over to our. Um, I feel it's quite unfocused. There we go. That's that's. Um, we're just gonna move over to the vanilla world. Uh, so let's give you a good old fashioned backup he's been fed and watered. What do you think I am? An irresponsible pet owner? Join at the right time? That's fair. That's fair. At the moment, I'm enjoying this more and it's easier for me to stream this series. It used to be the other way around. It used to be easier for me. I was enjoying modded more. It was easier for me to stream that. And like, I still enjoy the modded world, but like, I feel like at the moment I can only play it for like two hours at a time. So, uh, but I think we'll just do some caving because we got like two diamonds <laughs> yesterday when we went caving. So, uh, I need more. <laughs> As a general rule, I need diamonds because we have a, a whole new backup box we need to restock because we lost all of our gear yesterday fighting the wither. Are you laughing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just tired. My brain's just a little spacey right now. I'm okay, I've got some coffee. But I'm doing good. I've, I've had a good day. What have I done today? Like, not a lot. <laughs> it's been a good day. Watched some anime, watched Hermitcraft, cooked lunch for me family. But it can be very overwhelming, so that's honestly understandable. Yeah, and absolutely. And it's like, like, I enjoy it, right? Like, there's plenty of things that I enjoy, but like, the ability to play for like five hours without thinking 
is very different. I just don't like changing between series in one stream often because like I I save all my VODs to YouTube and it makes them very hard to like write thumbnails and titles and sort them into playlists. I fell asleep an hour after getting home from school. You're too just smidge tired. Look, you hadn't been at school for a while, and then, you know, obviously, like, the first couple... Um... First couple days are gonna be... It's being back at, like, the whole social thing. That's right. I didn't clean up my inventory. And I still won't. <laughs> Do I not have sound? Why do I not have sound? Because I changed my client halfway through the stream. Did it not like that? Try again. Try launching again, see if that fixes it. Let me tell you I had a day at school when my paranoid self went home early and two whole days at school. I'm glad. You did amazing. Proud of you. Hmm. I, I'm really happy, you know. Like, I love streaming, right? But, and I love Minecraft. Get to go on a trip with father in, in the truck? That's good. That's sick. But, like, I really feel like I'm loving playing it. Like, I'm having a lot of fun playing Vinny. And that's really, it's really enjoyable. It's really fun. And, like, my numbers and stuff are doing really well because you guys can tell I'm enjoying it more <laughs> than, off, than I often do. So this is, it's nice, to be honest. It's really nice to be back in this headspace. And you don't even necessarily notice that you're out of it. It just kind of happens, slowly. No, it's absolutely a good thing. I'm having a great time. Now, do I have sound? I'd like sound, please. But it's nice to, and like, there's certainly a few things that culminated in it. One was just, like, the break of, like, not really playing for a bit with uh, Christmas. <clears throat> then there was nine lives that just kind of got me out of modded and back into vanilla to a degree and had me kind of itching to do more... to uh, actually do projects on vanilla because, like, I kind of couldn't there and it was kind of driving me insane. Um, and then Hermitcraft Season 10 coming out was also very good for that as well. I told you about how weird my school internet is. I don't think you have. No. Do we have a frog yet? The squid. Let's see. Add pollen.
there a frog around? Squid? Miss your frog? Miss, miss your frog? Kill the squids? I mean, I could, I won't, I feel like I have no reason to. But Apple Lemonade, welcome in my friend, hope you're well. Frog? That's a chicken. During school, oh, that's right. Yeah, you can like access anything, but no one else can. But yeah, that is weird. Edison, I may have already lost your pet. I mean, these are transparent blocks. They shouldn't have been able to grow up in it. Like, it could have done it in the sand, but that seems unlikely. Either way, we're here to go caving. Gold squid, so the reason my base blew up? Well, that seems like a... that seems like a you problem, to be honest, man. Shapes on. Just better read a whole 22 page of Twitter drama and almost cried. Felt bad for the man that wrote it. Interesting. Speaking of Twitter drop. Hello, friends. So I've been seeing that there's been that there's issues with um with the creator of has been hotel but i've been trying to do some research on it today it seems like a lot of it is it seems really messy and like a lot of it is unfounded but like some of the stuff i've seen i don't know if it's just like fake or it's not part of what people really talk about so if anyone like actually knows what's going on I'd... your least favorite pet of mine i mean when we come back from caven maybe Like, it's, like, you know, I don't watch Hasbun or anything like that, but I know good friends who really... I like to try and live my life as ethically as I can, you know. Uh. So, hello, hello, how you doing? Uh, we were playing modded, but my brain decided to short circuit and stop um, being able to think about anything. So now we're in our vanilla world, just doing some caving. I'm uh, short on diamonds, and I also just want to do more cave lighting. You're great, I'm glad, my friend. Hello there. Ah! What would you pick as a walk-on sound? Well, you you get to choose it, my friend. I don't pick that. Are you saying you have a hundred k channel points? I mean, you could always just do like 
a polar bear. Just <laughs> This is a question for you as well, though, dude, because, like, I understand that, like, the Chatterpoint thing, because you've got, like, the cool Crypt Redeem. How much is the actual, like, Crypt Redeem? Like, is that the 50k one? Because I feel like it's so hard with those, because it's like, some are like, okay, this is an upgrade for once you already have it. I mean, I reckon we'll be fine. I think we'd be fine if we fell. Don't want to take unnecessary risks. Wait, who am I? <laughs> this is Laffy. Of course we want to take unnecessary risks. 60 soon. I don't have that. <laughs> I think I've only got like... I don't, I don't remember. I think I might have like... Better get in there quick. Well, give me some points. Thought about that. Like, just do a sneaky go live, right? Then, like, do a prediction that you're gonna lose and put, like, a million points in as the creator and then get shadow to say it was a thing and then i can have more. i don't think there's drips nothing more embarrassing than when you jump up than when you jump and like you end up just like jumping in in one spot and and jump on dripstone i'm like great at this game i would like here's more cave excellent ah here's big cave Uh, had you on the TV from my laptop, my sister instantly figured out how to get rid of you. No, goodbye, go away. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? The audacity. The ultimate audacity. Um, I think I'm gonna have to kill your sisters. Is that okay? Are you alright with that? Sir, don't shoot at me. I'm lighting things up. I'm trying to make it so you can't live here anymore. I'm the good guy. He was like, oh, what a <laughs> minion. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> something down there. I've been minion zoned. Hello? I will never financially recover from this.
Oh my, oh my. So shoot me a uh, shoot me a DM on Discord with what you want, and I'll get it hooked up before stream tomorrow. One boy offered to hang out with me or watch TV. She said, I want to watch Minions. Maybe I will hang out with you later. Exceptional. I still don't know how I feel about getting Minions on. I mean, look. I would probably... No, I think I'm okay with it. Like... Like, am I really better than, than Coco Melon? No. And that's essentially what, what Minions is. High production value Coco Melon. <laughs> now, was this where there were two geodes and I tried to take a screenshot of them for the coordinates and then, and then removed my heads up display so I couldn't actually see the coordinates because I'm a smart, smart cookie? Cheers, Zoot. I will get that hooked up for next stream. Uh, now, obviously, um, now I will say, one, I have the right to veto. Uh, two, uh, generally the rules are shorter than six seconds, well, six seconds or less, uh, and family friendly and no, like, jump scary. Wow. Up. Can't you see by my sword I'm an extra tired kitty? Think you'll like it? Okay. I mean, if people want sounds from me, I I, I often like record them. <laughs> Getting down to layers where I can maybe get some diamonds. <laughs> like, I don't want to branch mine. I don't think we've done any branch mining for diamonds in this world, and I want to keep it that way. I do think the only thing we've branch mined for in this world is, like, deep slate coal. <laughs> so that I could use it for builds. <laughs> have a great stream all good my friend why aren't you bringing me with you your whole life should be around me what are you doing oh we were friends it was such an underrated uh minecraft activity yeah it's fun but also like it's really fun i love caving in minecraft but also like i find it so chill Like, realistically, mobs in this game, especially once you've got, like, good armor and stuff, good gear, like, mobs in this game are pretty, like, easy. They'll see you from the lounge. Okay. Okay. But it really felt like you were saying goodbye. Alright. It is just... It's very chill. I don't care that much. Yeah, it's great. I love... I love... I love cave in to relax. It's one of the things that, like, I work hard in this world to make it so that I still have reasons to go cave. And, like, you know, there's always reasons to go caving of I need to light up for efficiency and lag and stuff, but, like, I want caving to still be relevant. 
But I don't branch mine for I for diamonds. I don't have an iron farm. I don't have a gold farm. Hello. Hello. I don't do um, villager trading for diamond gear and stuff. Or for books or anything. I, I do the enchanting the tool, like combining the tool and stuff. Nine diamonds, that's all right. I already want another coffee. That bad. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. Take care, Twig. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, wherever it is for you. I appreciate you popping in. Have an awesome, awesome, just you. Have an awesome being you. And like caving will help my mob farm because I don't have an AFK spot for my mob farm. I don't AFK in this world. So we, our mob farm is designed for us to, um, for it to be loaded when we are just doing stuff in our base. And so the kind of 128 by, uh, you're like half an hour, 30 minutes or something for me. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, you're, you're WA. Um... But, uh, so I've got it made, designed around roughly, we've got a pretty decent torch perimeter, um, centered around like the sitting room in my house. Uh, but now we're just, uh, working on, because there's something down there. Enjoy the luck. We're just working on making sure that no matter where we are in the 128 block radius of the farm, that we have a perfect torch perimeter, right? And it's not something I'm like actively working on. It's just like, if I need to go caving, then we cave in this massive 256 block, block sphere. Are there any diamonds I can see down here? Aquifers are great for diamond hunting. Hello. Uh, because the water counts as it not being exposed. So you'll get like bigger veins underwater than you would uh, in the caves. Although, maybe, not always. <laughs> Some more. Oh, come on. What is this? Hello there. Hello. Sugar player, there's not much reason to have any majorly OP farms, so that's fair. Yeah. I like to play at a very slow pace as well. And like, there absolutely is a reason to have huge OP farms. If you're doing huge projects. But, I don't need them at this point. I very much believe in making things as you need them. And if you are at a point where you need to upgrade something, then you upgrade it to the level that you need. Like, if I'm doing a huge automation process project at some point, I'm gonna probably need to build an iron farm for all the hoppers and stuff. But I also do find that with 118, that before 118, if you wanted to have any kind of like long-term world, an iron farm was required. Like it just was.
Um, but with the addition of being able to fortune iron, as well as the huge iron veins, ooh, um, it's not a requirement anymore. Oh, a vein. Uh, which I really like. Absolutely. And I think it's a lot more fun, for me especially, but in general, I think it's a lot more fun if you don't just, like, go all out to start with. Like, we're still realistically working on our starter base. And we're 2400 Minecraft days in. I have one automatic farm. And it's our mob farm. And we have one good farm, and that's our Enderman farm. <laughs> and like, we had two Enderman farms. We had an Enderman farm for a while that was not that efficient, it was um, different. And it wasn't particularly efficient, and it was fine for a while. And then I got to a point where I was just like, nah, I need I need a good enderman. <laughs> it's driving me insane now. So we built it. And I'm sure at some point I'm gonna want a big Um I'm gonna want a big gold farm and down. Are we doing on diamonds? 36. That's way better than yesterday. I think we've been caving for about the same amount of time as we did yesterday, and we got two. But, like, I have- I hold myself to a very high standard when I play this game. I'm pretty sure I've already taken screenshots of the iron vein that's um of the core. Like I hold myself to a very high standard with how I play this game. I don't like to cheese things. I don't like to um like I like to do things as the game intends. I don't want to like do things too overpowered if I can get away with it. I try to use game mechanics that might not be used that often because, like, there's better ones. Like, villager trading. Like, if I can get away with not doing, um... What level we have, by the way? Minus 50. Like, if I can get away with as little villager, like, especially librarian trading or, um... Or blacksmith trading as I can, that's good to me. I don't want to do that. And we'll probably end up with, like, a full library at some point. Um, probably in the end, we'll probably, uh, use the library and make that a full, uh... Uh, a full, um... Librarian hall. At some point. When I feel the need. Now... I ain't need that. Wait a minute. Have I been lighting up the wrong part? Certainly have been. Alright. Slowly, I'm happy. I like- I love the way I play this game. Sometimes it's like, man, it'd be cool to do a big project and I don't have any infrastructure to be able to handle that. But, eh, whatever. Can we get some love in the chat for Abby, please? Abby is a truly awesome, amazing member of this community. I appreciate having here every single day. They are wonderful, loving, kind, chaotic, and just a good egg. Very good egg indeed.
You're welcome, man. I know you've been struggling a bit lately. But you've got so much support and love here through your journey. It'd be nice to try and come away with a couple stacks of diamonds. I think we've got like 20 at the moment. Um, not including what we've got paving. So I'm going to need diamonds to be able to recraft any gear we need. Um, for combining and enchanting to restock the, the Metro Fate crate. Uh, and then I would like to start upgrading to netherite again. We haven't been able to upgrade to netherite since we uh, up updated to 120. So now that we have the upgrade template, it'd be nice to be able to start doing that. Uh, but each netherite upgrade that we do is going to cost us seven diamond. So if we can try and get a couple stacks from paving, I think that'd be good. That's just a start. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we ch changed gears and to do some caving. I'm having a good time. And like all of my villager trading infrastructure, like I've got like a couple villages here and there and I'm using like all of them um, for trading for emeralds and stuff. Like I use, I don't just have one thing where it's like, okay, I'm using just melons and pumpkins and I've got like 10 farm of it. Like I'm producing items for a bunch of different villages and I go around the town to the places they work and live and we trade with them and build up our emerald supply. I I enjoy it and I, it's, it's a really fun way to do it. And realistically the way that Boyang kind of intends you to do it. <laughs> Yang doesn't want you to do big trading wars. <laughs> they want you to make a village. And while we're not doing a free roam village, they're stuck in their homes or their workplaces and stuff because they're a nightmare. Where shoot? Where?
Get pearled. Yelling man. Hello there. I think... I think ender pearls are one of the most, like, underrated items in this game. They used to be a staple that everyone had on them. Because they were, like... The way to, like, have faster transport. But, like, since Elytra, like, no one uses them. Good system. Gives an excuse to build more. Absolutely. And that's my thing. Is I love the opportunity to make more structures for things. But also just the world building side of things. Like, the town we're building... It is a real town in our head, right? The people who work there live somewhere else. Um, like there's like we've got like three people working in the butcher shop. We've got the baker, and then there's going to be a couple farmers in the pub. We're gonna have feather falling four and ender pearls at mid game. I'd love that. Yeah. Like, ender pearls are great. Especially, like, I think there's plenty of opportunities where I would rather be wearing a chest plate and have pearls on my hotbar than a rocket and an elytra. But also, like, if you're, like, doing tight builds, especially redstone, ender pearls are so useful when you're redstoning to get around the complicated mess <laughs> that is often redstone. I think that's probably part of the reason why I love Ender Pearls is just because like I I used to be pri primarily a a, a, uh, a redstoner and it's just so much nicer <laughs> to use them to get around. they're feather falling because they give you fall damage oh yeah absolutely but like i'm talking about like once you have elytra like which generally speaking you're geared up with enchants by that point like very few people in mid to late game carry underpants on them but i think they're such a valuable Good to just have around. Especially when you're doing adventure stuff. Because having the extra protection from a chest plate is great. Getting around with ender pearls while caving is awful. trying to kill me because I, I do but oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was good carry them around when working in the nether often very clum clumsy that's fair yeah and that, they're great for that too I I just always have them in my inventory I always carry a handful of crafting tables, a stack of scaffolding, torches, um, ender pearls, and arrows. And ender chests, but they're on my hotbar. Generally. Where? The. Please. Oh, you are. You. You tactical boy. 
is that? Like, yeah, obviously early game enderpels aren't viable for anything. Like, you get enough to be able to go to the end with. <laughs> But I love seeing how people have their hotbar set up. Yeah. So, when I'm doing adventure stuff, it's different because I need a spot to hotspot. But generally speaking, it's still pretty much exactly the same, except I have rockets here and I have ender chests here. I used to have, um, pick, shovel axe, and then sword and bow. Uh, but then when I started playing vault hunters and... Um, I was doing a lot more of hot- of swapping to my sword and bow, so the need to have those with the easier to access number keys, uh, became very important. As well as, like, I always have, like, my transport thing in the 8th slot. Hey, uh, Owen, hope you're well. Um, uh because I have my X button bound to the 8 slot on my hotbar, and that's for, especially with like, uh, bucket clutches, it's a lot easier for me to press the X button than it is, like, the 8 button. Like, it makes it a lot easier for me to do bucket clutches, but it's also really helpful to, like, when you're in a fight to be able to get to rockets or to, uh, propels or whatever. Pick axe shovel. Pick axe slash shovel, shovel slash hoe. Pick some for various uses. Yeah, the problem with my hotbar slot is I really only have like my setup is I really only have like one slot that's open to like change around for things easily. Is like the block slot. <laughs> The thing that always drives me wild is like, there's this kind of graphic that I see going around Twitter and stuff every once in a while that it's like, how do you have like your tools organized in your hotbar? And for some reason, none of them have a bow and they have hose instead. And I'm like, what? <laughs> who, who keeps hose on their hotbar if they're not actively doing something with a hose? Why don't you have bows on you? Oh, is the odd one out? How much tools are on the right, then food and rockets are on the left? I mean, that's fair. I like having these three here because it's... Those are the numbers, the number keys that are right in, right above my WASD. And then my eight slot is X, so that's right underneath it, so. It's pretty easy to navigate around. Seems semi safe. Don't really have one of those, but okay.
Or is that a paper use the hotkeys? I'm a mouse scroller for sure. Uh, the only hotkeys I'm good I can really use is one, two, and three, right? The rest are a bit too far away. Four if I'm lucky. Generally one, two, three I can use. Um, and then yeah, I've got my X button goes to goes to that slot. Like so it's all right immediately around my WASD configuration. That makes it a lot easier for me. The other the others, no. I like I'm never gonna be able to use like seven and eight and nine either. <laughs> Like, that's insane. <laughs> it's so far away. <laughs> Hello. Wanna get iron from this hole? Yeah, 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 yeah. Toki, hello, hello. How you doing, gorgeous? Uh, we've uh, changed gears a bit today. We played modded for a couple hours, but then I was struggling with my brain power for it. So we decided to change gears, and now we're just doing some caving over in our vanilla world. How are you doing, lovely? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I'm just going to do that. I trust you. Biggest jump scare in the world, lol. Don't double team me without my consent. Buy me dinner first. Aerodeem has not failed to get a jump out of me. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Nice and loud. Like, I have a policy on the channel of, like, not having any, like, jump scary sound redeems, but also... It is quite loud, and I enjoy it. <laughs> and it does make me jump sometimes when I'm, like, very focused. Some people are like, hey, you should turn that down. And I'm like, hey, you should, you should, you should, you should go screw up. <laughs> it's one of the few times I'm like, not tolerant to things. I'm like, no, it's loud. I want it. I like it. <laughs> I do try to make sure the other sounds aren't bad, like the wrestling bell or like the gamble is so quiet, like the, the volume on it is very low. Because <laughs> like, it just has that like such carrying uh, timbre and cadence. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Charlie, hello, hello, how you doing? Lovely? We are, we were playing some modded, but now we are doing some caving in our vanilla world because my brain was, it just kind of said no, it stopped being able to like do the smart things. Now we're caving because I am very low on diamonds in the survival world. How you doing, Charlie? Na -na 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 -na.
It's been a bit. Yeah, I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Been. That's why it's a head hitter. Uh, we've been vibing quite a bit lately. Been a good, good time. My brain power is a bit slow today. That's okay. Eat ourselves out of the hole. Yeet me. Eat me up. Yeet me up inside. Yeet me up. Yeet me up inside. Yeet me. You're good. Only working till 2.30 today. Got a microblading appointment. This That's cool. And it's Friday. Can't complain when it's Friday. Absolutely. Except when they eat your children. Then you can usually complain on a Friday. But it's still it's still risky. I wouldn't advise it. I'll come for you. You know, if I could have some frames, that would be ideal. Cough, cough, cough. Please help me pay for my gaming PC. So I can stop having terrible performance issues. <laughs> We're at like 83%. How did nine lives go? Uh, it was good. It was good. Um, I think our team ended up placing 10th overall, which is really sick considering I got burnt out after like two weeks and I think Pi got burnt out with one week left. Uh, so it's pretty good. The fact that we were on the top 10 leaderboard. Um, it just, it didn't quite gel with the way I like to play the game and I ended up just really struggling. But it was a really fun time regardless. It was great hanging out with all the people and doing the collabby stuff. But it just wasn't it didn't end up being something that worked for me on a more on a like a longer time period of um gone. You duped that like a king, sir. Gamble, all right, Turkey. All right, all right. I don't want to. I'm having fun though. Honestly, I'm gonna refund that. I'm sorry, Turkey. I. I just want to keep caving. I'm gonna pause that. That okay feels so like sad and let down. I'm so sorry. Na, 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 na. 
Gold, beautiful gold. Hello. Like, I'll probably never use it for this, but I have heard that apparently, um, you should use gold blocks for, like, portable beacon. Because apparently gold blocks is the mineral block that has the, like, quickest mine time. Certainly interesting, but I don't have a gold farm, so I use emeralds. <laughs> Also, I don't use beacons a lot. I don't I don't like to do things underground if I can help. I don't like digging. <laughs> I prefer to build things above ground. Now, a um I'll bring this up again as a little bit of a plug of uh, exciting things that are happening this month on the channel. So on Monday, which is the 19th, uh, hello, um, goodbye, uh, I will be guesting over on Venus AU channel, uh, playing some Fall Guys with her, it's gonna be a really fun time. Uh, on Thursday, which is the 22nd, uh, will be our two year stream anniversary, in which we will be reacting to a, uh, Let's Play series I made 10 years ago. Uh, that is uh, unlisted on my YouTube channel. Uh, and as part of that, I will also be doing a giveaway uh, for a copy of Minecraft, as well as uh, some possible extras. Um, then the last Saturday of the month is our supporter hang, where I uh, where I play minigames and stuff with my paid Twitch subscribers and Ko-Fi members. It's always a really fun time. Often we do things like Hypixel, uh, but we have been known to do uh, Fall Guys and Gartic Bot Phone and Jackbox and stuff as well. So it's always a good time. Hello. Fancy meeting you. There's two of you. <sighs> Sir, how dare you interrupt me? I'm having a moment with the diamonds. That's alright. I'm hoping to come out of this with a couple stacks. If I can get away with it. Like, caving isn't the most efficient way to get diamonds, but it's more fun. I'm hoping to come out of this with a couple stacks. I could use snacks. This is the uh, actual deliver for me today. Honeycomb yogurt muesli bar. Let's go. Um. Tomato 
How much of that just ended up on my floor? <laughs> Minecraft's are good for diamonds or not. Because I'm pretty sure they generate after the ores generate, which means that they count as, ex as non-exposed. But I also don't know how easy it is to like find the veins in them. I say after just getting a ton of diamonds very quickly from this mineshaft, so maybe let's do it. Yeah, this is doing pretty well. Might be a flute, but... Take it. I think we're at like a stack of diamonds that we've gotten now. I don't think these are very, I don't know if these are good for finding diamonds immediately finds like 30 diamonds. <laughs> What if we just converted all of our diamonds right now into, into boots? Alright, we're over a stack of diamonds, which is sick. And we're probably just going to be doing this for the rest of stream. Or at least I, until I run out of torches. Although we do have coal on us. Although, eh, we don't really have... one torch so I can replenish this hello there yeah so what I was saying of like if you find diamonds in a mine shaft it's really good because I'm pretty sure that the mine shaft generation happens after the ore generation does. So the diamonds actually generate uh, as if they're not exposed to air. Which means the the veins will be bigger if you find them uh, in a mine shaft. As far as I'm aware. Also, you should absolutely like mine away the corner blocks of those uh, pillars so you can see um, if there's something coming to kill you. I just can't be bothered. Hello. How are you? That is a spawner, right? Maybe back away. Stop it! Come around the corner. 
I don't particularly want to generate cave spiders. Like, I don't care that much, but hello. Uh, a quick screeny. I'm probably never ever gonna do anything. The spawner based farms, if you can't AFK in a world, really um, aren't really worth doing. <laughs> I lit it up. I walked over to light it up. Oh. Why don't I place a torch? Okay, this mine sh Okay, never mind. Mine shafts are great for diamonds. <laughs> We're doing so good for diamonds. <laughs> in this mine shaft. Like, could be a fluke, but very good. Very good for Dia. That is the spoiler thingy. I mean, it's lit up now. Seem to get a lot, so yeah, yeah. What's, the big thing is, hey bro, you good? Um, the big thing is that they're gonna appear in larger veins if you do find them. And there's a lot of blocks exposed. Veggies in mash. Oh, just realized I forgot to put veggies in my mashed potato and was wondering why it didn't taste like... Interesting, tell me more. You like veggies, yeah, but like putting them in mashed potatoes seems wild seems wild to me. Well, I would like elaboration. I'm sorry, is that? No, okay. a million string that I don't need because I have a mob farm. Hey folks. Something you've always done? You should not like veggies so cover them in mash. That's fair. I didn't realize that you two <laughs> were one singular unit. So, when I make mashed potato for myself, which is very rare because I find it's a lot of effort, um, but I like to put like chili powder in it. And one time I made it for my flatmate and myself, and it was like, it looked like it was a sweet potato mash. Uh, it was orange from the chili powder. And oh boy, it was so good, but oh boy, did it make you cough. <laughs> Every bite, it was like, <coughs> more please. <laughs> Gotta figure out veggies, veg what veggies I enjoy, and that was a game changer. Absolutely. And also, like, there is a there is a degree of Stockholm syndrome with veggies. Like, the more you eat of a veggie, the the more your tongue just accepts it and starts to like it. Uh, there's lots of veggies that I used to not like, but now that I live with my parents again, I ha I've started to really like, like, asparagus. Um. Your new version of the cinema challenge? Absolutely. Like, I used to despise asparagus, but now I love asparagus.
Dog called Marmalade. Sure, I will say that somehow uh, we have lost your frog. Uh, and I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to do caving today. That's all I'm vibing with. I don't know. I went to check on it and see if it had um if it had grown up yet and it's like nowhere to be found. No Octavius has not turned up. You have a bad trek ro record with uh with pets. There's going to be a creeper right there and immediately blow up and I'll probably still be fine. But you know, it might teach me Area in my way. Doubtful. Hello, oh, how you doing, my friend? I'm good. We are. Uh, we were doing some modded Minecraft. But we decided to change gears and just do some chill, vibey caving over in the, in the uh, vanilla world. Uh, which I'm having. We've already got like over a stack of diamonds, which is good because we've been we're quite low with them. I'll be a good one. So this is what you should do when exploring mine shafts, because you can actually see around corners. <laughs> Nifkly better than before, currently playing Terraria, heck yeah. I say sticky is in a like it didn't want to like press properly, not in a it's covered in honey way. Hello? Uh, who are wondering this is a 256 block radius uh, just holographic sphere centered around our mob farm so that we're just slowly um, increasing the efficiency of our mob farm um, for like anywhere we are in our base that is within its spawning rate but it's not something I'm actively working on like the main area that we hang out in is pretty torch perimeted. This is just slowly increasing the efficiency over time. We used about the numbers on the blocks, turns out it's a light level. Yes, so I'm using a mod called Mini Hut, uh, and that lets you have a lighting overlay. It's also what puts my coordinates and stuff um, in the top left corner of my screen. Just a very handy little quality of life mod. And all of the things that I have in quality of life mods and stuff, they don't change the game at all, but they're also things that I believe should just be in the game. Like, I... And I don't think it should be... Like, the Mojang team want to, like, Minecrafty and lorey everything that they add to the game. Which I think is great and noble, but there's some things I think you should just add to your game to make them better. The ability to have an overlay for light level. As opposed to the, like, glare mechanic they came up, came up with a little while that, like, was a mob that would follow you around and, like, stand in caves that and stand in areas that needed to be lit up. 
Like that was a mob vote mob. Uh, I think for 118. And like, it's just something I think should be in the game. I think it should, you should be able to get your coordinates on your screen easily without having the F3 screen. And this is a mod for a better F3 screen, but the F3 screen is huge. It's so clunky and awful to use. Like, I'm a big believer in the fact that we don't have to Minecraftify everything. Like we can, like, they're trying to come up with a cool way to do the inventory and stuff. They can just increase the amount of slots we have. There's other stuff, like it's not the only thing that is needed for the inventory update, but just increasing the slots and making it so we can swap between rows of our inventory for our hotbar is just a big, a big thing, a big step in the right direction. Like there are, abs there are, it is absolutely not, it is a band-aid to a degree, so it needs to be put done in um, conjunction with other stuff. Not everything needs to be, this. oh, we've done this in a lore way. Give me multiple hotbars. Absolutely. It's one of my favorite things in modded is being able to just alt, like cycle between rows in your inventory as a hotbar. And like, we, can't, we kind of already have that. We have the ability to have multiple different hotbars in creative. And it would solve a lot of like inventory management issues. Oh. This always happens when caving. You just get to a certain point that you don't know how you necessarily got there. And you just end up going around in circles. One thing I generally would love to be in the game, but isn't, would just be JI mod. Um, I disagree. I think that the I think that the crafting book does that perfectly well. And in fact, often I dislike it when mod packs disable the. Uh, I don't like when mod packs disable the. Crafting the crafting book because I actually find it so much easier to use a lot of the time. Like, and like with items in the game, like in the vanilla game, I don't think we need to have like a lookup system with all um, all things unlocked. But there's also a game rule to just unlock all recipes. I don't necessarily agree. But that's another thing. It's like the recipe book is just, it's a good gooey thing. Inventory management, two hotbars, an additional roll of inventory. That's it. I don't agree with backpack. I don't agree with that. I think that they need to work within the shulker system. Because we have a system for for it, we just need to like make it better. Um, my opinion is upgrades. I don't think we should ever be able to open them in our hotbar, like in our inventory. The whole point of them is that they're movable chests. But if you were able to. Um, if you were able to make it so that um, you could kind of use one like a dank so that you could place blocks from it, but it locks it to one type, that means that suddenly you're going from, uh, you just increase your slot size um, without messing with like redstone stuff. Um, being able to increase 
chalk aside. Uh, and do it in a cool way, preferably you, uh, something to do with an end update. Okay, backpacks are implemented, they should add sorters and categories in the backpacks. Uh, no. I don't think we should have sorters. Like, I think the redstone in the game for sorting systems is perfectly adequate for this. And I'm aware I need to put a sorting system into my uh, into my mob farm, but like everything that's on the surface there for the mob farm is all temporary. When we actually start working on the build across the river, the steampunk town, the plan is for that to be a, like a water filtration plant, and all the mob drops is essentially stuff that's being like filtered out of the water um, that's being recycled from like the mobs, from like quarrying and stuff. That's my plan for it, which I came up with ages ago when we actually built the thing. But we're not actually doing that build. Who the friend? You're back now? You're tired? That's fair. That's cool, I like that. I don't necessarily remember the episode, but yes. Because I try to, especially like within the base, I want to have everything, all infrastructure I have, I want to have a thematic reason behind in the world. Like I don't want it to just be, oh, this building houses this farm. Like I want a reason for it. Like, I want to have a thematic reason that makes sense. Like, it's why our um, villager trading and breeding, our villager breeding area stuff. Yes. Hoppers do need to be optimized. <laughs> Redstone needs to be optimized. Oh, have hoppers been optimized in with um, 121? I haven't, uh, I don't keep up with the snapshot, so. Just optimized in 121? Heck yeah, that's good. I'm glad. Redstone needs to be optimized in general. Um,. Cause like being a, cause being a redstoner is also like, if you are doing redstone stuff and especially if you do it often, it's kind of like a moral thing that you know how to optimize redstone and it should to like avoid server lag and stuff. And that shouldn't have to be the case. What am I wanting? Body God? Have you seen the trailer for X-Men 97? Oh, I didn't know it was a thing. Are they doing a new X-Men film? I've seen the trailer for the new Wolverine. Ugh. 
This is where we actually entered the mine. I think we've explored it to the best we can. Yeah, like the fact that like redstone dust is really laggy. So like pro redstoners use like use powered rails and stuff. Like redstone itself needs to be optimized. Original animated X-Men, but new stories. Oh, that's sick. Very cool. Big boy, same guy. Oh. No, from... We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. Nugget, welcome in, my friend. How you doing? How you doing? We were playing some modded Minecraft earlier today, but we uh, decided to change gears because my brain power was not uh, not handling it well. Uh, and we're just doing some vibey caving in our vanilla world. Unoptimized redstone is the reason. Everstone or leaf stone, etc. came to be. Exactly. Like, like, redstone should be a fun thing you can play around with without there being kind of a ethical responsibility on you to know how to optimize and uh, to optimize your redstone to not cause lag. Like you should just be able to, like being a builder, right? You don't, like generally speaking, if you're a builder, you don't have to be constantly thinking about how you can make this not cause lag. <laughs> but if you if you are a redstone or a technical minecrafter like that's what you got to do It'd be really nice if they could figure out how to optimize better see ya charlie it's been so good to have you in my friend take care And like, I don't, like in our single player world, in this world, I don't optimize my redstone. But I also don't have a lot of redstone in this area. So I'm not like super fussed about it. But we will certainly, if we start doing bigger projects, um, more redstone oriented projects, we will absolutely need to optimize it. But even still, whenever I have, like, hoppers, I optimize and, you know. So hoppers are bad for TPS, but also just tile entities in general. Have they optimized that as well, or is it just, like, have they optimized just, like, being a tile entity? Because that's also part of hopper lag. That sounds so awesome. It's part of the hopper lag is the fact that it's a tile entity. Tile entities are bad. Um, for lag. So I'm hoping that part of their... Are we on the wrong side of the sphere again? No. Um... Who's in general? Nope. Maybe soon. Hopefully. Because tile entities cause a lot of lag, and just entities as well. Ooh, hell. Holy heck. Uh, we gotta silk touch that baby. What's up? Hello! <laughs> Ghostly Plays, welcome in, welcome in. How you doing, my friend? Hope you are so good today. I love this stuff in builds. Um, I don't need this name. How you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. We're just doing some caving, doing some vibing and chilling. How's your stream? What did you get up to, my friend? 
I love Deep Slate Coal as a building. Uh, Dal, can I get a shout out please for Ghostly? Just doing random things in a mod pack? That's cool, that's cool. Folks, if you can uh, join me in following the wonderful... Oh, I already followed Ghostly, never mind. But please go follow, uh, please go follow Ghostly. Um, it's always, uh, always great to uh, show the love to people who show it to us. Thank you for the follow, Ghostly. You gotta go, or oh, good Dal, I appreciate you. What kind of what kind of mod pack are you playing? We were playing modded earlier, but I my brain power was just like, eh, I want to play vanilla now. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Oh, you're doing chosen smart dimension. Nice, that's nice, nice. Chunk by chunk. Cool, cool. How are we on diamond? Ooh, 6447. That's pretty nice. Oh, it's still an asset awesome type. Banana. I do love it. it. Used to always be the meta before caves and cliffs. You would generally go. Uh, caving or mining with a silk touch pick and then you would take them back to the surface afterwards to remine them and break them down with fortune but 118 really really changed that is like with the multiple different types of ores and um, um, uh, with the multiple ore types and the fact that you could now compress uh, iron and gold was huge um, and suddenly it meant like if you silk touch things then it was taking up more inventory space um, because you'd have like two different types of ores especially 117 because like um, before the generation changed and it was just kind of you'd have patches of deep slate in amongst with stone stuff when you were mining. I'm sorry, is this an hello? Um, it really just became suboptimal. To use silk touch, so now it's just kind of the meta to do it fully with foot. But it does mean I end up with very, a lot less like silk touch material. Uh, no, you just got your bar go by. What? Onyx, welcome in, welcome in. Still lurking, AFI, how you doing? We're fine. We're doing fine. Ba -na -na. Ba -na. I eat bananas in the weekend. I'm 
sure that might have been a double spawner, but I also don't care. <laughs> And I don't go caving that often because we just don't need a lot of resources at this point in the world. And I forget how just enjoy. It. It's so chill. You're a different man, but I'll I'll take you too. Welcome in, my friend. How you doing? How you doing? What's going on? What is going on, my friend? We were doing some modded earlier, but I decided to change gears because I wasn't vibing with it at the time. So we're just doing some caving here in our vanilla world. Having a good time. We've managed to get uh, over a stack and a half of diamonds at this point, which is very, very nice. We've been running uh, quite low on them. Especially now that we have the upgrade template and I want to start upgrading our tools again. Oh, hello. Be gone. Uh, you're annoying. In general, I'm just caving because I like to cave. Like, I'm doing it because I need diamonds, but also, like, I'm not caving. My caving method isn't going only for diamonds. Like, I'm just going wherever the cave takes me, getting all the ores that I can. The only ores that I'm not gathering is copper. Because <laughs> it just takes up so much inventory space. And I'm not really building with it that much at the moment. And it's not hard to get your hands on when you do. And I already have a good amount. Unlurk, welcome back, Twig. taking the opportunity to slowly uh, work on slowly working on um, increasing the general efficiency of our mob farm like its rates are fine um, I don't have any issues with the rates especially just providing for me and I don't do a lot of stuff mainly just funding my rocket use Minecraft time in a few minutes, aren't your sisters in bed? Heck yeah. But it'd be nice to increase it a little bit. Um, and it's mainly just what we're doing caving wise now to increase it is just simply making it so that um, there's less mobs uh, around no matter the location we're in. Like we've got a pretty good torch perimeter around... Uh, where I'd say we spend the most time in this world, and that's our, like, house. Got a pretty good torch perimeter around there. But we don't AFK, so it's all got to be based around... 
wherever we are in our base, if the farm is loaded, we want it to have the best rates it can. That's what we're working on, but not actively. It's just, I need to cave, so we're going to cave in that area. Let's focus on light and things. Hello, sir. How dare you hit me like that. It's so rude. I just realized how far back I was from my mic just then. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Eh. Here we go, much better. Smooth jab, FM. Sir, so, please. 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 Thank you. Sir, so, please. Please, thank you. I'm busy. Hey, diamonds done. Stay away from that trap door. something down, down there. Take care, Loki. Loki? Sure. Take <laughs> take care, Loki. I appreciate you, Toki. Thank you for the luck. Hello. Aquifers are a great place to look for diamonds because they don't count as exposed. Um, so they're gonna have bigger vein. Oh, that was trash fortune. That's better. I think we're over two stacks now, that's sick. Not gonna stop now though, the more we have the better. Uh, what does the get a pet redeem do? Uh, it uh, it lets you uh, choose a pet for me to go out and get in the world uh, and name it for you. Uh, it's got to be something that's not like insanely hard to get. Like, you can't be like, I'd like a blue axolotl, please. Or, um, or I would like a ghast. Uh, but there's only one redeem per stream, and I believe it's already been done today. Um... But it's certainly something you can get on another time. Bum bum bana. Tired today, Toki. I'm sorry. Ba -na -na -na. It'd be weird if it wasn't a yawn. Very good caving adventure so far. Had so much fun. Very, very vibey. Quite profitable. I usually find caving is not particularly good for diamonds, but. Good! Day 15 before a cricket game tomorrow? Hell yeah, let's go! Oh, 
Hello there. Time for sleeps? That sounds very good, Sleepy. I mean Loki, I mean Loki, I mean Toki. Love you. <laughs> I'm be looking the whole time. Thank you, I appreciate it. Bonjour. We get some love in the chat for, for Toki. Toki is one of my favorite people in the world. They are just wonderful and chaotic, loving, even though such a kind as about people who think that they have imposters. They're amazing and I love them. And you're amazing and... and... Wait, you redeemed a, lo a laughy love? I thought you hate compliments. But I love you and you're the best. I'm glad we're friends. I have to go back to work though. You have to go to school? That's totally fine, my friend. No pressure at all. You know, I'm really hating life this week. Hey, I'm so good. Good. Something Something down down there. There. If it makes you feel better, I love that you're in my life. Even if you're a little batshit. Running low on toy. Been burnt out a little, I get that. Hello! I saw that you were lying. I was lurking. Oh, does that mean I'm a raider? Knight, where's your where's your where's your raid message? Give me a raid message. Knight! That's not a raid message! Bruh. What is this? Hey Knight, how you doing? Woo, night raid. I want to be registered as a raider. There we are. Can we get some love for Samoto, please? Samoto is a super sick, awesome human being that I'm super glad is around with us. Been here for a few weeks now, I think. Just good time to have around. Very respectful and kind. Good bean. Good bean. Post check, thank you. <laughs> How's your stream? You're doing art, yeah? Hydrate, thank you. <laughs> and a stretch from Toki, keeping it spicy. This is probably isn't a good place for me to stop, so let's actually... Oh, I am not on my Minecraft window. Let's actually pause. Dash, welcome in, welcome in. How we doing? How we doing? Angelic Potato, how we doing? How we doing? Wait a minute, have I got another raid? What? What? Why is the Dash raid not come through for me? That's weird. Hi, Dash, welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Uh, Angelic Potato, welcome in, welcome in. That's so bizarre. You have workies tomorrow, but thank you so much. Um, once the timer runs out, um, Knight, can you give uh, can you give Dash a follow, please? So bizarre. But welcome in, Raiders. I hope you're all super well. Uh, my name is So Laugh a Lot. All my friends call me Laffy. This here is Maurice, the patron saint of the channel. He looks over us. He hopes we're well. If you're ever having a bad day, you feel like nobody cares. Reese cares. He's always in your corner and you are always. And we are just playing some vanilla Minecraft today, just doing some caving. Uh, we are we've been running low on diamonds. And folks, absolutely go go give uh go give Dash a follow. Dash is a great, uh great, great Minecrafter, great content creator. Just wonderful human being of all human beingness. Big fan. Yeah.
Finally a good streamer. Thank you, Zeke. How you doing? How you doing? I mean, good is in the eye of the stream holder, if you will. I created Flat World. I am making Cottage Core with Dark Oak Cherry Blossom Forest. That's amazing. Love that combo. I'm gonna try to point, I might name a tool literally a tool just for the fun of it. I love that. That's great. Zeke Gaming, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. You're okay? I'm glad. Now that I can't make you sing with all these raids, and I'm thankful. Even though I'm sure someone's going to take that opportunity and make me cry. <laughs> Probably Toki. Uh, am I considered a tool? <laughs> Depends who you're asking. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Ooh, little ditty. I'm sorry, what? I, I'm i sorry, what? Are you making me sing? Just gonna relax through all the stress that I get. And I'm glad that I can help you do that. Want to name you a tool? Oh, that's rude. All right, we got a little ditty from the wonderful Toki. Sing about dirty, stinky, cheesy socks. Do you ever go to a friend's house and feel awkward? Because their place is a mess and it smells, but you don't want to say a thing. That's what it's like when I go to Toki's house. It's full of stinky, cheesy socks. It's gross, but I'm too awkward and shy to tell them that they need to do their washing. Toki be better. Me? Mean? I could never be. That's the wrong scene. You want to make me sing about dirty stinky socks? Then I'm gonna make them be your dirty stinky socks. It's the re effect. Re always does ditties that are like, are meant to make me look, that are like, saying that I suck, and I always turn them around on it. Socks are cheesy, you didn't add cheesy, so it's not mine. I'm pretty sure I said stinky, stinky and cheesy. Are you enough gold at this point for calling you a tool to be considered a joke? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it was absolutely considered a joke. <laughs> You're fine. I was... <laughs> How dare you. How dare you say these things. He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. We got some love in the chat for Zeke. You've only just come in, but I can tell you've got a good sense of humor, and I'm looking forward to uh, you becoming a member of the community, my friend. Whatever is uh, causing you to need that love. No, you've got it. No matter what is going on in your life, just know that as a human being, you deserve support and love just for being you. That's what you get. Because you are the best you that could ever be. 
Hydrate, thank you, Smoto. Love my stream? Thank you, Zeke. Appreciate it. More caves. Got so much deep slate coal ore, guys. I'm rich. I can build, like, half a thing with that. <laughs> Think of the texturing. Oh, I'm so that, thank you for those kind words, Simoto. I appreciate it. Call me John? Yeah, that's totally fine, my friend. I may forget, but... Absolutely fine with that. If I forget, just yell at me. I have a bad memory. Can we get some love in the chat for Aish? Aish? I don't know why I said it that way. For Aish? Can we get the love of the chat for Aish, please? Um, I just hope you're doing well. It's super nice to have you in. And getting to see you more is always a good thing in my book. Heckin' good of the people. And so much love for you. So much love. That's a spot that could be set up. Love your calm voice. Thank you. I say immediately making some like awful grunt sounds. <laughs> Get out of my face, sir. You're not gonna fill some my non hardcore worlds. Not in my watch. You have a Discord server? I sure do. That's how that voice can cause anxiety and discomfort for some. Absolutely. But also, this is just how I am. I'm a very light, laid back, chill kind of guy. Like, I'm laid back, chill, and a gremlin at the same time. It's great. Top tier. <laughs> Wait, are we on the wrong side of the sphere? Please tell me we're not on the wrong side of the sphere. Please tell me we're not on the wrong No, it's so hard to tell with this. How did you not know about the Discord server? Oh. Look, I'm not I'm not the best streamer when it comes to plugging things. <laughs> I tend to let my automatic timers do. I feel like it's coming in. Let's just Actually, yes, I can. If we are on the wrong side of the sphere. That's so bad. How long have we been on the wrong side of the sphere for? I'm sphering for my life. Of plugging things though, uh, let's be a good streamer. Uh, so there's a few exciting things coming up this month. So on Monday, which is the 19th, I will be guesting over on uh, Venus AU's Twitch channel playing some Fall Guys. It's gonna be a really, really fun time. Uh, really looking forward to that. Then on Thursday, which is the 22nd, will be my two year stream anniversary. Uh, we'll be reacting to a Minecraft Let's Play I made like 10 years ago and is unlisted on my channel. Uh, and 
We'll also be doing a giveaway during that um, for a copy of Minecraft, uh, as some other possible bonus extras. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Zeke, welcome in, welcome in. Gonna go watch one of your volunteer streaming? Heck yeah, all good, my friend. Take care. Uh, and then on uh, the last Saturday of the month, so this is every month on the last Saturday of the month, uh, we run a monthly supporter hang, uh, in which I play uh, I play I play games with my uh, paid Twitch subscribers and Ko-Fi members. Pluto, hello, my friend. Um, frames would be nice, thank you. Um, my paid Twitch subscribers and Ko-Fi members. So if you are subscribed. Uh, make sure your Discord is linked to your uh, to your Twitch so that you have access to the to the sub to the uh, supporter area, and we can uh, hang out and play games and stuff on uh, on the last Saturday of the month, which is a date. <laughs> One of them. There's an event for it on the Discord. I don't know. What the I don't pay attention. Thanks. I usually forget about it until the day of. And then I'm like, oh, I haven't advertised this at all this month. <laughs> I'm such a good streamer. <laughs> I'm good at doing the thing. I'm not very good at the, like, business side of it. I'll take that. Ba -na -na -da -ba -na. Give me the lapis and cure my soul. Wanna get a lapis in this hole and drift away. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> that was so defeating. Give me the gold. Gold standard, that is. Let's go. Ooh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Ah! Sir! Are you kidding me? X the audacity. I'm having an intimate moment with this diamond vein right now. Can you not? Do you have a YouTube account? I do. I, uh, I upload all my VODs there. Uh, generally about 24 hours afterwards. After a stream. Um, I've got, like, a couple, like, non- VOD content on there, but not- not a lot. It's not something I generally do. Kate, how are you, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the hydrate. Chatter, keeping me juicy tonight. That was a weird way to put it. Well, I guess that's going to be my whole personality from now on. <laughs> stuck on stuff. Running very low on torches. How dare you, <laughs> Edison? How dare you? Where did I? Where have I put that? I, I'm like, I know I had some. <laughs> But look at that, we're doing so good on diamonds. Holy heck. My happy boy, happy lad. TikTok, do I have one? Yes. I don't post on it very often. I don't even know if I have a command for it. I don't even know if it's listed anywhere. <laughs> I'll be real. If 
back into a mine shaft looking for did i not pick up any torches dunce love Fuck TikTok on my local network. That's fine. Uh, I occasionally post on my TikTok. Um, generally not streamer things. If you're listening. That's fine. Um, generally not streamer things. Uh, often it's like, uh, like ADHD autism struggles. Oh. And it's usually just vloggy stuff. Which some of my friends who make uh, very, very high effort uh, TikToks get very mad at me when my very low effort uh, something just funny happens. I, I just thought of something interesting. Uh, vloggy ones do better than theirs. They get very mad. <laughs> and it's very funny. Iron. I like iron. In my veins. I'd like more diamonds in my veins. Yeah. I need to like at some point, I think I've kind of given up on even pretending that I'm gonna do the 2000 day world <laughs> tour video. I think at this point. <laughs> I think at this point I need just I just need to give up on the fact that I'm gonna do that. Because I know full well I'm not. But uh I'm thinking I might put together like a little ditty 2023 cut. Cause I record all the ditties that I do. So they're just all sitting on my hard drive. So I think I might just make a long video of just like putting them all together. But like, it's one of those things of like, if I'm gonna do a video, I want to do it well. But also I don't like editing. <laughs> so I just put it off and then I end up just never doing that. Because my autistic brain never, never, ever started because it doesn't want to task that it doesn't want to do. I mean, I wrote a script for the world tour video. I haven't recorded it though. Bum, bum. Probably up, up, uh, oil. Everything is going according to plan. Hello. How dare you? Hello. Hello. 
Man, I always forget how how long I've been streaming. Uh, today, uh, about four hours, 40 minutes. In total, almost two years. It'll be two years on Thursday. that spider eye it's like the only thing like you don't get spider eyes from like a standard mob farm so it's like i have heaps of them but also like i'm like i feel like i gotta like collect <laughs> just has watched i think it was called orion in the dark thanks so much i'm not sure what was real and what wasn't interesting i don't know it i don't know a whole lot of movies I can see it here, lots of spiders, but so there's definitely a cave spider spawner that's being looted somewhere. Want this string. Or oh, this flesh. I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing pretty good. I've had a nice baby day. Um, kind of watched some hermit craft. Um, some amine. Took some lunch for the family. I haven't really done... Uh, I've done a little bit of organizing stuff for thing. For redacteds of various redactions. Is. Holy heck! Bonjour! Hello! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's our first our first god apple, guys. Holy heck, that's awesome! Ooh, baby! You've just lost all your old software install and Windows OS disk images? Nice. Right in the dark, they just made a plot twist. Interesting. Absolute certified Poggers moment. Like, that's not where I expect to find it. I'll be real. We need... I've lost them. I have to recreate them all. That sucks. Big, big sausage. Like me on a Friday night. Excuse me. I know what I just said, but it doesn't mean it's consent. Big sergeant. Why don't you have a shield? I don't need one. <laughs> I'm like a full enchanted gear. I do not need a shield. I'm not on hardcore, so. I'd rather have the torches. On a 6,000 chance of having a god apple. Yeah, that's insane. Like, your best chances for a god apple is, well, is an ancient city, but other than an ancient city is, like, is desert temple. Mm-hmm. 
many god apples you have? I'm pretty sure one. I'm pretty sure this is the first god apple I've gotten. Because it unlocked it a new, like it unlocked a new uh, a new recipe when I got it. it. Unlocked the banner pattern recipe. That's sick. We can make a bat banner pattern out of that. That is so rare getting it in a mine shaft. That's insane. I don't want you either. I have a mob farm. I'm at the stage of a mineshaft where I'm like, how did I get here? That's sick. Like, I have no need for it, but it's still very cool. I mean, look, I do need it. You need, in total, two god apples in a world. One to make a banner pattern. And one to eat for the, um, eat every type of food advancement. So you need precisely two in any world. Um... But like it's not hardcore or anything like and like we fought like all of the challenges so i i mean i died to a wither yesterday but you know the golden apple wasn't good i wasn't gonna eat the notch apple It's been a while since I'd fought a wither on the surface. I really thought I, I wasn't going to need more than three totems. But boy did I pop those totems quick. <laughs> I also forgot to bring potions. Are you the deep dark? I have done one expedition to the deep dark um we i mean we lost our swift snake pants probably three or four pairs of pants ago um as the problem with these like specialty enchants uh is like we recycle our gear every uh every couple months <laughs> for me losing everything that it's like, yeah, I was so excited to get Swift Stick and I, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> um, and that was, that was still in 119, so we didn't have the trims yet. But I do still need to go and do that and get, um, try and get the new armor trims. That was a fun stream. <laughs> like, go away. Have you killed the warden yet? I have not killed the warden yet. I don't see a need. Oh, hello. I think it's more interesting to interact with the warden how it's intended. Like, it's very easy to, like, cheese an ancient city, uh, but I think it's way more fun to not. To, 
to like bring the snowballs and like sneak around. Favorite uh, Minecraft creators? He likes hardcore without totems and his last word lasted five years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Errol ba Baby Zombie, that's um, yeah, yeah, Phil's all right. Well, no, you're intended to interact with the warden, but you're not, it's not, like, the point, they designed a warden to be something that wasn't worth fighting. Like, it was something that you had to avoid. Uh, and hide from, and run from. But Toad was an auto timeout in chat, for Philza, lol. I know, um... I was, uh, I was in Zoo's stream, I think, today, Zoo. uh, and he was talking about how he wants to impose a totem limit on his world, um, because he's popped seven at this point, and he's like, there's got to be a limit, because otherwise, what's the point in playing hardcore? For him. And that's totally fine opinion. Um... <coughs> I think that it's worth having a limit of, like, if you pop a totem, like, if you pop, like, more than one totem in, like, a... Oh, down for 20 minutes long. Down here. Uh, now, the real question, where did I enter? Oh, well, whatever. Clearly been on that pillar. Kinda lagging to me. Uh, it looks fine on my end. Try giving it a refresh, see if it helps. at the five hour mark we should uh consider purpose. especially because like this is like almost the last of our twitches it gets your phone fair enough i think we can actually get out from it quickly I've to do another stream and realized how much I appreciate a nice slow talking streamer. That's very fair. Some some streamers, especially some streamers that I'm friends with, so fast. <laughs> it's great though. I I if I need a pump up, I love those streams. Like Jazzish is a great place to get pumped up stuff. Pretty sure. Mini HUD for it. I don't think I'm in a spot of the cave that helps. Dipping through words like nothing else, yeah. <laughs> Like Kami voice relaxed me, awesome. Oh wait, another one of my favorites of like Corky is Nerdy Ella. Who's I uh, I think they're Australian. Uh but oh boy, <laughs> do they talk insanely. Uh, 
Uh, tomorrow, what time are you going to be live? So I stream uh, pretty much every day from 4 p.m. Australian Western Standard Time uh, and usually go for about for three to five hours. So it is almost 9 p.m. for me. We're at the five hour mark. So pretty much five hours ago, whatever that is for you, is when I start. And I stream uh, every day except for Sundays and Monday. There's three each version being a new world. Okay, cool, cool. Rough time is being dedicated to Dimension Games. At a.m. for you? Okay, yeah. Same here in the Philippines. Okay, yeah, cool. I got, I got, uh, I got quite a few. Um, I'd say, I'd say the Philippines is a pretty decent um, portion of my audience. Eight fifty-seven. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. PM? I mean, presumably, yeah. I don't know you at the same time zone as me. Huh, you're in the same time zone as SWA. I didn't know that. Because I'm in Western Australia. It's 5 a.m. Rough. It's always something that's wild to me as a streamer. It's the amount of people who watch me regularly when it's like obscenely, obscenely early in the morning. <laughs> that was smooth. Skeleton spook. we're gonna do now same as we did yesterday we're gonna make this a future laughy problem <laughs> and he's gonna hate me we've had a good haul over two and a half stacks of diamonds heck yeah Fan of that. And just a good amount of other stuff too. Almost a full stack of iron blocks. Found some deep slate emerald and a notch out and a god apple, which is sick. Couple stacks of redstone blocks, which is nice. Couple stacks of lapis blocks, which is also nice. We like feel like we shred through lapis. Half a stack of gold blocks. Stack of coal blocks. Pretty good. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, stream's about to end. We're at, uh, we're about the five hour mark. So, we're gonna, we're gonna make this inventory, uh, a future laughy problem. Jason, considering it was caving and upstream mining. Absolutely. Uh, we, we did very well on the diamonds. I wasn't expecting to do that well. So, let's pop on over here. And let us see who we want to throw our love at today, shall we? And like, and you know, that was like what, two and a half hours of caving, maybe. So like, we we spent a good amount of time on it. Yeah. 
Gals Glow. Poor future lovey has got to have fun with that imagery. Yep. I do this all the time and I always hate myself for it. Uh, I was in a stream the other day. It was there from 2.30 a.m. till the end. Oh, God. <laughs> That's horrific. Um... Quick look at this. Would you make us a fan name in a sign? Your Minecraft world? As in like a, like a redeem thing? It's possible, I just, I don't really have anywhere suited for stuff like that. Because I, because my world is, is lots of like smaller builds, it's a town. Like I know a lot of streamers do things like you know, like area, like viewer areas of like, they'll have a castle or something. They'll have lots of different like spots, like for armor stands or stuff. Um, but it'd be a bit hard to do that, I feel. And kind of like, I feel like the pet redeem is, is kind of close to that. Um, like you can, you can redeem a pet and it sits around the base somewhere until it vanishes, which some of them do. Sorry, Edison. <laughs> I adore being a yeah, let's go to Lily May. That is cool, yeah. Sometimes I we have two we have three at the minute that are waiting one was done today which is going to be very easy um pets just do that man like if they're not like tame tameable pets leads break frogs are just frogs Like, I've had three frogs go missing. Um, I've had two foxes now that have broken free from leads and gone missing. It's annoying. Have some relaxing stream. See you tomorrow. Heck yeah, panic. I'll see you then. But folks, when we get over to Lily Mae, um, absolutely give her a follow. She's an awesome Minecrafter, awesome content creator, awesome, wonderful vibes. Um, and just hang around and chat if you can. Uh, it's super awesome if you can, if you're engaging here, if you can engage over there, uh, and just, just vibe. It's, uh, it's always really nice when people from raids, uh, hang around and chat and become part of the community. It's always so, so nice. But here, everyone's always like, raid message, raid message. It's like the last thing I do, folks. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm on it. Here is our raid call. I'll see I, uh, if you are, but if you're a follower, please copy the first one. If you are a subscriber, please copy the second one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The plan is for some more modded Minecraft, but we'll see how we go. But have a good night, a good day, I appreciate you. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye.